Hello, everybody. Hello everybody, I'm going to start right now. I'm just tweaking a little bit everything to work on the Godot engine channel. Mari Carmen, are you here? Mari Carmen is Yeah, it's working. Why is it so slow today? I don't know. Maybe it's not used to my... to this change. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi, Rocio. Hi, Albert. Hi to everybody. Rayo75. Buenas. This stream will be in English. Don't worry, if you need some translation, I can help 
So also, if you need some translation in Spanish or in Catalan, I will be glad to translate it for you. So hello, how are you? You see this, this title? <laughs> One get that teacher, two projects. Hmm. This is a good reference from, from Nat Hart. For another stream where I understand everything. Yeah, everything because you understand English and Spanish, so it will be <laughs> perfect for you. Not on purpose. No, not on purpose at all, you know. Um, it's a word hearing you in English. I speak a lot in English in my channel. There's a lot of people that come and just ask me in English or I change. Also, in Catalan, remember that. If you are Catalonian and you want to talk in Catalan in my channel, you can just ask in Catalan and I will try to say everything in Catalan and then maybe translate it to Spanish or English. Oh no, I got the reference. Oh my God. Hey Tibo, how are you? How is everybody? So, what we are going to do today? Um, um, what we are going to do today? So, just a good title is all. Yeah, it's a very good title. Title. It's a very very good title. Um, no, I realized now while I read it, while I was reading it. Um, so what we are going to do today, I would like to go on with my projects, with my, um, my two silly projects that I'm doing on stream, just to teach how games are done. Um, one of them is, uh, you know, Rusty Retirement, Rusty's Retirement. It's an idle game for the bottom of the stream for the bottom of the screen and you can play the game while you are doing other things like I don't know working or watching my two uh, YouTube videos because you can also let me check if my bot is working yeah also you can follow my channel it's in Spanish and it will be always in Spanish but maybe you want to learn something in Spanish and could be cool. And also, by the way, I have a Godot uh, Godot theme channel called Todo Godot. And there I will upload videos in Spanish about making games in Godot. So you're welcome. My Spanish is a bit rusty, but I check it out. Thank you, Kairithia. Um, at the promo, I have to promote myself. And by the way, by the way, by the way, what I do have here. Oh, this is two cows. The physical edition of the game. It's very do it yourself edition, but it's a physical edition. It will have a manual with a short comic and a USB with all the making of Spanish of course. And the game for Linux, Windows, Mac and the source code of the game. Maybe it will appear not only in PC, but also in video game consoles, but no the physical edition. Okay, so thank you. Anyway, two codes. Codes. So, Mari Carmen is in the dark. Uh, no, Mari Carmen is here. It's here. So, if you want my game on Steam at the moment, you can sign up in this form. You can find here. To coach one game, 
of course, to cause one game. Okay, so Maricarmen is in the darkness, and that's it. Do you have both notifications enabled? Yes, I have my main notifications. I have my own uh, channel notifications, but also this one. So thank you. Thanks, everybody that comes to my channel. I'm going to tweet about this. Let me just one minute. Thank you. Thank you for following me. You are. I didn't grab it. Thank you. Rafa Ignacio. Somos Tocayos. Thanks, everybody, to come more than this stream. Let me do this. So, we're going to start right now. Let me, okay. Here you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you are. You can, you will help me a lot if you retweet my tweet and the Godot engine one. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for your help. I hope you will be entertained. Let me check everything and. Now we're going to start. Hello, Icterus Games. How are you? Hard, hi Mariko. Hi, everybody. So let me check. I'm going to change my screen. And now I'm going to Okay, so we are going to start with Desktop Dungeon Defenders. Desktop Dungeon, Dungeon Defenders is a game, it's an idle game for the bottom of your screen, and it's a um, it's a game for the multitasking people like me. I am a multitasker. And maybe you want to play something while you are watching videos or you are working or you are just <laughs> on a meeting. So you just start the game. And you can go on with your work. So. <laughs> That's it. This is this is game. It's an idle defender tower game. And if you want, I can explain to you how it works. How I can just show um, on the lower part of uh, the lower a window in the lower part of the screen, on the top of everything. So okay, let me check the chat where I put it. Okay. Aquí estamos. So it's like this. Now you can make your warrior more powerful. Like this. I have a lot of money now because it's it's tweet just to test the game. 
on the the longest time you are playing the more enemies will come to kill you you have to defend the dungeon you have to try that any monster goes into the dungeon so and that's it this is aimed like this i have several okay let me check i have several characters here you can change or you can buy any other character character at any time for example this one this one is a mace also you can buy upgrades for all of them and that's it this is the game obviously it's not that easy but i think it's funny so it would be free and open source for everybody and i will upload it to uh each but this game is will not uh, is not going to be uploaded to steam not the same as my two calls game <laughs> okay i will so that's it hello dj frappuccino hello galantar eolo by hair grace hello everybody so that's the game obviously you have to improve your characters you have to earn more money and you have to buy new things and new powers and all of that i wanted something small i don't like to make games during a lot of time i the longest i've been doing a game on stream it's maybe two months but usually i make games just in a week godot makes it very 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 easy to have your ideas your ideas prototype so um that's what by the way that's what make me fall in love with a lot not only that it's open source of course and it's a very 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 powerful engine also because you can do everything so fast and works immediately so i don't know hell work hell everything hell everybody plus meet greetings how are you mike buenas I'm going to speak in Spanish. I'm going to speak in English in this stream. So I hope it's okay for you. So thanks everybody for being around. And let's start. So the last day we were trying to improve the weapons, okay? Um, every weapons has every weapon has a main class okay has a not a main class a main resource that it's uh, a weapon so every weapon it's configured um in this way every weapon has two frames okay let me show you okay the initial one and the super powered one so you can choose in different states how it's configured every weapon how are the stats of every weapon and here you can see that you can select the frame the damage it makes in this state the range in pixels the speed the reload time how fast you can use the weapon between um, uh, between shots the cooldown in fact cooldown and reload time are more or less the same and maybe i will take out one of them because it's it, it was interesting at first but i think i only use cooldown i don't remember now i have been two weeks since i don't uh, improve this game okay so the cost is also the cost that it will cause you to 
improve for this level as it is the um, the main level is the cost that will cause you to buy this weapon. Okay. What the fuck did it go wrong? So, for example, this one you see here, it costs 20 coins to buy a new one. So, it's the cost of buying this one. Or, if you want to buy the next upgrade, you can come here and just pay for two points of damage instead of uh, of one 75 uh, uh, okay so these are the book ones oh fuck. this was 50 let me check because i was changing the last day some values to just make some okay yeah this was 50 at first Okay, 50. So, Charlie Ross. Hey, Ciro Perliso. Um, ¿Qué tal? I was waiting for you. It was you. Yes, it was me. All this time. Hello. How are you? If, um, isn't the best... Entrepreneur, he pretends to give away his time for free, but tries to pay the rest of their team. Uh, try to pay the, the rest of their team. What do you want to say with that? It, I went for an explanation of two codes. Title for English speakers. Okay, okay, maybe... I don't know if you are familiar with this meme that it's about, I don't know, it's a political meme that talks about, imagine that you have two cows, but the thing is that I don't care about political memes. What I want to make is a, a story of two cows that want to be free, you know, and that's it. It's... It's all about the freedom of two cows that want to love each other. They don't care about you, about your political feelings. They are free and they want to be free. So, free love for everybody. Rafa, no? Oh, no, I don't worry. It's not about politics. It's about love, you know. Um, isn't that uh, uh, what you're saying? Calibre, hello there, how are you? So let's tweak this a little bit more and let's check the Bithen heart, everybody. Thank you for being around. And let's see, okay. So the last time I was tweaking the weapons because if you see, what the fuck did it go wrong? Okay, so now if you improve two weapons, both of them are going to shoot from the same side, and it's not cool. Okay, you see. I prefer if you have two weapons, one of them shoots to the right and the other to the left. So visually keeps everything more interesting. Okay, so how can we do this? Ah, by the way, this is a floating screen. Okay, this is a floating screen that shows you information but also helps you to do things like this you can godot lets you to change the speed the scale of the inner timer so you can make everything faster and faster and faster till everything breaks by the way <laughs> it's okay everything will break and 
the first thing it breaks are the physics. It will start not <laughs> detecting any collision. As you see. <laughs> so... Well, it's funny. It's funny because it helps me a lot. This helps me a lot to test the pass of time because this game is not it's it's all about being on your being on your screen doing hours and hours and hours. So what will happen in three hours? It's very difficult to um, to know if you don't test it during all that time. In fact, some of my viewers had tested the game and they say the game explodes at minute 50, I don't know, 53 or whatever, because there are so many, so many enemies on the street, on the screen that uh, the game explodes and the computer freezes. So, uh, particles, uh, particles, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, why I hear some farts in that speed? No, it's not other fire explosions. Um, literalmente, los mosquitos en verano cuando abres la ventana. Literally, <laughs> mosquitos when you open the window in the summer. You need to capture that with. No, a thousand scale and submit it to Twitter. Thing is that, yeah, I made something like that, but you know that tweet about, uh, there was a meme on Twitter. There was a viral tweet weeks ago that it said something like, show me your game changing something on it by a thousand. Okay, let, let me let me show you. Let me show you because it was funny. Yeah, here. Okay, so let me the that it was like this. Show me your game. Okay, stop for a moment and change anything inside your game. Change any value and. Multiplied by a thousand, a lot of people. I, 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 I don't want to scroll on Twitter because nowadays is very dangerous. So there are a lot of cool um, samples here, and then I did this. Okay, I did this one. Okay, a thousand enemies for three, for three characters. In level one i okay, guess so that's it it's it became crazy so that, that thread is very 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 fire i i love these kind of threads because you learn a lot yeah of about game development there you learn a lot and i think it's i don't know very funny to break your game in a way that i don't know <clears throat> you understand better your own code you know so in fact we did this a lot of times here in, on streaming because um i love to push my games i love to push everything i do a little bit farther so <laughs> something funny happens sometimes my stream breaks and <laughs> because obs cannot uh, support all this nonsense so I will not do this today because I want to be here at least for some hours so truly most wanted hey yeah how are you so what could we what can what can we do now let's check this and Okay, so my main problem now I have this to do. In fact, I didn't 
<laughs> we didn't add many things here. I work, uh, I usually work in improvising a little bit, well, a little bit, totally. But maybe we need some to-do list, okay? Um, would, you, would you like to test it? Show of hands how many of you are already Rafa fans? Godot Engine official said, show your hands how many of you are already Rafa fans. Only four of them. That's cool. Five. This means a lot of new people here. I've been a fan before. It was cool. That's so true. That's so true. Albert Ballo was a student of mine. And we met some little things together. And... I've, I've seen how he has been growing all this time and it's very amazing how he became a very, 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 <coughs> very, very cool QA and professional. So <coughs> I am a new fan. Oh, one moment. I just take, no, I disconnected my... alert box but it's also here let me check excuse me but because i wanted to disable all my notifications but i don't know why they're working excuse me i see I hope now Yeah, now um, Excuse me because I'm a little bit rusty Talking in English Years ago I talked a lot in English And also I taught in English I, um, But the thing is that Now I only talk in English On streaming so if you don't understand something, please let me know and I will try to explain it with other words. So, Rafa in English. Hi, Sekras, how are you? I'm a new fan. I can raise. Thank you. That's very cool. I prefer Afar. Afar is my counterpart. Afar is when Rafa gets angry. Them afar comes to a stream, and I'm getting angry because I don't know what is happening with my own notifications. I will kill them, I will destroy my notifications, and then afar is the evil twin. That's it. I destroyed. My notifications. Let's see if it still sounds. Because you know, Streamlabs is mm, the best thing that has happened to streams. Well, okay. So we are going to go on with um with my project. That's it. Enough chip uh, chip chat. Uh. Okay. So. New weapons, new weapons, melee, and new weapons, melee, new weapons, magic ones. Okay, what more? What do you think we this game needs? We have a warrior, we have a knight, we have a, we have a mage. This mage uh, have a, this magical uh, stuff how many time we have today here how many time do you want me to be here 
just tell me. I can be here till six. <laughs> okay, PM. Uh, uh, CST. Okay, maybe for seven hours and a half today. <laughs> I don't know. But a lot of particles. Do you like particles? Hey, Tebow. Do you like particles? Do you want particles? Oh, it's okay for me. I love particles. So. A rock goblin. Particle gun here. All the particles. Okay. So. The thing is that, as you can see, I'm using the um, uh, Kenny. Kenny assets. Because I'm not an artist. But we all love Kenny. So. I will try to use everything on the Kenny asset uh, pack. So if there is a goblin, maybe it's one of our heroes or maybe it's a enemy that we have to defeat. Truly most wanted. What extension do you have to place? Okay, so this you can, by the way, this is also a QA. I am a teacher, as the title says. I am a teacher. I'm going to do two projects at the same time. I am doing this one, but also this other that it's called. Uh, okay, this uh, I'm going to do the desk, desktop dungeon defenders game, but also this game that it's called PC Furbo. It's an slang for football in Spanish. Okay, in fact. Football in Spanish is, or soccer in Spanish, it's football. It's very, but some kind of colloquial, we also say furbo. And PC furbo. <laughs> and it's a foot game for the people that doesn't like soccer or football. Okay. But if you like soccer or football, it's also for you. Okay. Uh, this is a very, very silly game, a very, very silly multiplayer game, okay? And you can download now on each the early access. <laughs> we made an early access on each. We know there's no <laughs> early access on each, okay? There's no early access, but we created <laughs> the concept of early access in it's it's called acceso tempranillo very, very uh, it's early access in in english okay you can download it for linux windows and android and till now i don't recommend it to download it for to play okay uh, uh, yourself in your computer is just a multiplayer game so it's a nonsense to play just by yourself, you can. You need friends or somebody to play it with, or we can play it, or we can play it live stream in some time in, in this stream. So football, 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 soccer. Yeah. In fact, it's football. In fact, it's like this. I will write it to you. Um, football. Uh, 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 football in English, in American English is soccer. Um, football in Spanish and furbo. It's like, I don't know, say soccer, but not in soccer way, but in soccer way. So, beta access. I thought. You were talking about uh, about wine when you said tempranillo. It's a it's a joke. It's a uh, es un juego de palabras. It's a, a word play. So I'm playing with the word early access. Early it's temprano. Access okay it's acceso. Tempranillo is a kind of wine. Okay. So as it's Spanish and it's furbo that it's very, very colloquial, very, 
I don't know, it's a word that you will find on a bar or, a, or whatever, you know, uh, where you, so it's acceso tempranillo. It's, it's a, just a wordplay. So it's a tempranillo, it's, it's very early also. There's in an option, you can have two tongues in, ah, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. There, there's no way on each to have multi-language web pages. And I think it's something that they have to work because every time I make a game, every time I publish something, I know, for example, my um, the the jams, I every every year I do a game jam on August or early September, that it's called Make a Dinosaur. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Maybe I have to pay for HTTP domain, HTTPS. But Make a Dinosaur, it's a small game jam that it's about creating a dinosaur. Okay. You can draw it, you can model it in 3D, you can make whatever you want with a theme. Last year, the theme of the game jump was candy dinosaurs. And as uh, each doesn't have multi-language extensions or whatever for the pages, I have to do this. Read this in English, le esto en español. So you can jump from one language to another and read how it works. By the way, this game jam is for everybody, professionals, amateurs, people that it's now trying to learn some new technique or whatever. It's not only about drawing or modeling. You can do whatever you want. For example, you know, if you want to use uh, Blender or maybe last year, I don't remember, or you can, as it's candy dinosaur, you can make a dinosaur with candy or you can make it with clay or whatever you want. Okay. So it's very funny because I love when families work together and I want to encourage this with, with this game jam. Uh, some children with their parents doing this. Okay. The, the, children draw this and the parent then model it in 3D or whatever. But what I wanted you to say that I have to do this every time I want to do a multi-language page. And I, it's, it's difficult to maintain this. Okay, so maybe it listens and I don't know. But as I told you before, you have PC Furbo game here. And if you want later on this morning, we can, or this stream, because now it's not exactly the morning, we can play a little bit, okay? All together. Uh, we are going to set up a server online, thanks to RS232. So that's very dumb of them. YATN is not that complicated. Don't pay for uh, websites. Use Let's Script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. In fact, I thought I had Let's Let's Encrypt um, on on that domain, but it's okay. So that's nice. Family Jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my I try to empower that, you know, I try to uh, make things that everybody can do this. Uh, it's, it's a pity that many, many events, for example, I also try to organize in Spain and maybe on other countries later, but I try to organize the Godot meeting event, you know, and I encourage that families can come. You, if you have uh, children or you have um, little child to take care, 
of them, you can bring them to the stream uh, to, to the event and play the games, listen to some of the talks and and all. Thank you for making platform uh, a platform to enable it. Okay, so the thing is that I will teach to you. Maybe I will do a video about how you can play PC PC, PC Furbo. It's it's very difficult to say this in in English. PC Furbo. Okay. <laughs> Fur Furbo. Okay. PC Furbo. PC Furbo. In Spanish, yes. PC Furbo. Okay. So. Somebody asked me before. He said, which region are you from? I'm from Spain. Okay, I'm from Catalonia. In fact, Barcelona, you know. And here we talk Spanish, but also in Catalan. So. PC Soca. Oh, PC Soca. I love this. We can translate it. We can make the English version and call it PC Soccer. Hello, Candy. How are you? I, I will explain it later. Okay. So if you want, I think you want to play PC Football before this. I was living in Barcelona. Yeah. Oh, cool. And now where are you? So better now that I have your mobile's company. Thank you. Thank you, Kandek. You are so welcome. Thank you for all your support. You can remember that you can retweet the Godot engine tweet from this stream. So more people can come here and be with us. Ireland. Oh. Cool, cool. Let me know about you. Every every one of you. Talk a little bit about you. What are you doing? Are you using nowadays Godot for a game or you are learning it or you want to use it for a project in the future? Please let me let me know. I know, for example, Ben or By Her Grace or any of you, please talk me a little bit about you while I am trying to do something here. But original question from Truly Most Wanted still stands. What extension? Oh, excuse me. Are you here, Truly Most Wanted? Excuse me. I. It's what. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> I get distracted very easily. So it just sweet a little bit. But the thing is that I love this extension. It's called simple to do. Simple to do. And as it says its name, it's very, very, very simple. It's it integrates very well with uh, Godot. And it's very easy to use. You just download it, enable it. Okay, you can enable this extension here. You come here, plugins. Okay, and you can activate. Activado. Oh, the Spanish version is so broken. So you have this here, and then it will appear here. And it's very useful. I love it. In fact, I use it in many, many of my my projects. But you know, when you have to do a project by yourself, you have your to-do extension, you have everything in place, you have your Kanban, you have your whatever, and you forget about it. <laughs> it's I do I use it a lot for my own projects, but also on stream because people remembers me that I have this list. So uh, in fact, in this project, in, in these two projects, I'm not using any extension more than this one, but also in the in this game. Okay. What the fuck did it go wrong? 
I will use gift. This extension. I will use gift. I love gift. And I want to connect the game with my Twitch viewers so they can try to kill me. Yeah, it's something that I know all of them want. So it would be funny if they can be an enemy on the screen. Can you put UI in English in this case? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. in fact, I was thinking about it. Maybe I can change this. I can change the editor and I think it's here. I will change it to English or Catalan. I can change it to English. So, okay, that's it. Better for all of you. I think now it will integrate the most with the stream. Um, by the way, uh, Kanda says, if, uh, this is out of context, but Rafa Lagoon yesterday, we didn't have our small meeting with heroes in case you want to give some pointers or reschedule it. Uh, yeah, I will have to reschedule it to the to Friday. Okay, we can reschedule it for Friday. Um, too much chill. Uh, it didn't work, remember? Uh, I I changed something on too much chill. <clears throat> and it broke and it broke a little bit well in fact if you want to see some project that we made we made just in I have this computer since mm, maybe June I made the, all these projects on streaming and I, I do a lot of projects uh, and so there are a lot of things here I can show you, but I prefer to stay a little bit on track, you know. And if you want to see show F0. Okay. Okay, it was it was built for Godot 4.2. I'm going to open it in 4.3. I don't know what will happen. Maybe it will break. That's funny. Things that break on streaming on the Godot engine channel. So, what is F0. F0. It's the way that <laughs> the way in Spain we said F0. F0. So as Nintendo didn't <laughs> made a uh, new F0, I made my own. So it's like this. Go. Okay, so we made this. The art is from um, Ismur. Very, 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 very awesome artist. You can follow Ismur in Twitter. Okay, so. This is F0 and it's a very simple game. It's a very, very, very simple game. Okay. It's just this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just one track. It was just an experiment. I do a lot of experiments and this was just trying to make a F0. It was just limited for one track. Uh, main menu, okay, settings, uh, labs, I will say three at least, you know, and 
you can turn on and off the CRT effect. You also can try to make it not full screen. And there are a lot of uh, skins. It's a brain. Patchy. Later I will talk about Patchy. This is me. And uh, a taxi that I don't remember who made this. This is also me. Okay, so. I think it's cool in this way. So, this was made live streaming of everything I made. And the thing is that the only uh, challenge you have is to beat my time. That it's 30 seconds or not. Or 32, I don't remember now. And that's it. It's a simple game. You can create your own tracks if you want, by the way. And that's a cool part of being a game like this. You win. You win. Has ganado. Okay, as you see, many of my games are in Spanish. Uh, but it's not exactly Spanish. It's a mix of languages. Because I program everything in English. But... Maybe my artist made some art in Spanish and I integrate with uh, my game in Spanish. I love to work in Spanish. Well, in fact, code is in English always, but the game that I release for my viewers, as almost all of them are Spanish, I don't try to translate game that I've made in two or three streamings to all the languages I can. But many games, for example, I I made a game of the past that was translated in four languages uh, with Godot, and it's it was using the 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 inner tool that it has to translate text, and it's very very cool and very very simple to use. So uh, thank you for following me, and that's it. Uh, hello, Lex, Pi uh, Lex Payartha. How are you? Um, so, where do you can get these games? Well, in fact, nowhere. Because, as I told you, I made all these things for my viewers. So... I don't consider them something to release to the public. And I think I'm I'm wrong, but so the thing is that I upload them to Good Drive. So I give the link to them and they download it and they can play them and they can modify the code usually. So maybe I can upload this if you like this. Making maybe I can upload them with a code to each and and um, GitHub. Hello, Ale, how are you? Is there is there an archive for these take over boats? Uh, for these ones, there will be. I suppose at least during this week, all of them will be here. They will not be destroyed. But they will be download, uh, and I don't know if they will upload them to the main uh, YouTube channel. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it could be a good idea. Uh, but maybe there's a, in, I don't know, maybe there's a secondary channel around. I don't know, go to live streams or something like that, and maybe... They will upload them. I can talk with uh, Nat. I will. I can talk with uh, also with Amy. So maybe we can make something all together. You can upload to each 
and leave them unlisted and mark as a prototype. Oh, okay. Could be cool. I didn't know that you can mark them as a prototype. Unless that maybe it's not that interesting, but mark them as a prototype it would be very funny. So, weapons. Hello, Rosa, Gotha, how are you? Weapons, weapons, weapons. As I told you, my main problem with this game is now that weapons are both on the same side when some enemy comes. So, I want to have two weapons and well in fact if you only have one weapon this weapon will appear on your left hand if your if the enemy comes from the left or in your right hand if the enemy comes from the right okay but if you want if you have two then every weapon stays on one side okay this is very silly um problem but is what I have to do now, okay? What, what, what did it go wrong? So, I will overpower both weapons and let's see how it works. Okay. It's only one weapon. Hmm. Maybe uh, they are overlap. Yeah, they are overlap. So I'm going to change how the weapons work. So it's a little bit more interesting. How we, how can we do this? Um, how can we do this? We have two animations for this. We have this one, okay. And then if they come to the right, this one. So what I'm going to do is this okay every weapon uh, every weapon knows where is the target so it plays an animation or does whatever the weapon has to do there are some weapons that uh, maybe doesn't play an animation so maybe I don't know explode in place or whatever but in this case these ones that are um, like bullets are projectiles will play an animation uh, on the left or on the right and I don't know if it's um, yeah I think you can see and if you can see when the weapon do this it calls to a function that it's shot bullet so this function is called and then something happens in this case I have this bullet and I preload it I add to the weapons manager and do whatever it has to do, okay? So before before I play any animation, I have to know every weapon individually has to know if there's another weapon on the same character. How can we do this? Okay, so maybe, maybe, okay, the, all the characters have its own weapon manager. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Every character has its own weapon manager, but there is also a global weapon manager <clears throat> because um, every character uh, manage its own weapons, but the game also manage bullets and other kind of weapons that are outside the, the, the player, outside the character that we are using, okay? That it, it's on the, on the scene. So, hmm, how can we know? Yeah, I don't, I don't like to use this get parent. If you can avoid using get parent function, the better. Okay, it's a. Uh, mm, it, it what can possibly go? What could possibly go wrong if you use this? So, thing is, get parent. You only have to use this function if you are sure that as a parent always you will have what you expect. In this case, in this case, my weapons, let me check. In this case, blah, 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 blah. Character manager, okay, this is the defender, weapon manager enabled. Hmm. If you want to make any question, it's okay. Not not only about this game, about whatever you want about Godot or even game design or programming or whatever, it's okay. Okay, so let's see. Okay, what I'm going to do now is this weapons are okay. I don't need this anymore. It's okay, it's not in stage. Okay. What do you use instead of get parent, get root of something? I can't remember what it is. Okay, so as I told you, try not to use get parent. It's not something terrible if you use it. I use it when, what is happening? Uh, let me, okay. I use it from time to time and it's something that we'll need. It's a, it's a cool function and sometimes you, you would hope that other languages or platforms or framework would have something like that, get parent. Um, but the thing is that usually you, it's, it's preferred to use inner references. For example, you can have here on the weapon, I have here uh, stats, whatever, whatever, stats and all of this current stat, whatever, you're going to have, for example, hmm, I don't know, okay. And then when you create the weapon, you can sign uh, a parent for this, uh, um, uh, for this weapon and you can access the parent through this variable okay because uh, it's very it's very easy to control your own uh, your own variables okay better than use uh, something that you can break because look at this if you use I don't know if, uh, 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 for example this if you use get parent and this is an inner variable that a custom inner variable that you created and it doesn't exist on get parent or the worst that is get parent is null because you don't have any 
parent for this screen and it's not the most um the uh it's not the most um uh, uh usually when you create a a new node you assign a parent adding this node inside this parent okay inside this this node but the thing is that maybe it's not inside another node it's just an instance okay so it's preferred to do something like this so first you can do something like if not parent i don't know whatever okay and it's cleaner i think what's gd extension gd extension okay 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 so um godot uses languages uh, godot uses several languages for its scripting one of them it's gd script is the one i'm using now gd script is a language inspired python it's not python but it has a lot of python the semantics the structure the syntaxes or whatever okay but it's not python and it's very important to understand this okay it's a uh, own language built to talk with the engine the fast it can and the more um um uh, in in a more elegant way okay so the thing is that GDScript it's a custom language for Godot it feels like Python in a lot of things but when you start using it you feel that the language is so very well done for Godot uh, its integration it's perfect that you will create games and you will create whatever you're thinking on very 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 fast maybe you want to use c sharp it's okay godot also um support c sharp but the thing is that even it's okay to use c sharp and i don't have any problem if you want to use c sharp please learn gt script because it will change the way you think and the way you relate and the way you your relation with the engine it's very 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 different you feel you are talking with the engine with the engine okay and i know um i love it in fact it's one of the reasons i i'm using godot not because it's very very similar to python another language i love and i use a lot in screen team and my servers or in small programs or whatever but also because you feel this integration you feel they are one each other they are it's i know it, it, i love to the script in fact i have a talk i it's not i don't know if it's online maybe it's online i don't know it's i i, I made a talk two years ago about use godot for everything use godot to create your own tools use godot to create your own server side small uh, game related obviously tools and try to master gd script because it's a amazing tool it's fantastic i, I love it and as i told you you can choose also C sharp. You can also use um, C plus plus with GD extension or Rust. Rust. Godot Rust is a cool, very, 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 very cool project, but it's not the same as GD extension. Not only because of the syntax or because it's Rust and not Python. Because, I don't know, 
it's it, it will never be it will never feel as integrated as git extension okay so try to learn git script and you won't regret it one more thing you can program you can create your games using any language Godot has support, has support for, for Godot, okay? But you can program in any language at the same time, different scripts, of course, but you can program using one script on GD, in JavaScript, the other one C Sharp, the other one on JIT extension, or maybe the all the, I don't know, non that important scripts in JavaScript and the main core of your game in C++ if you want or C Sharp and that's the cool part of Godot. You can have your project the way you want and the main reason you would choose JavaScript over C Sharp even if you are an expert in C Sharp is that it's fast. Fast to write, fast to test and very clean to read. I, I think it's it's easy to read. It's very easy to read. And believe me, for small things like this or even longer, you will do a lot with few lines. And you will not notice at all the difference between C++, C Sharp or JavaScript in the most of cases, okay? If it's not, it's not an absolute thing. I I, I want to, uh, you understand that. Obviously, C plus plus or C sharp would be more powerful. But when you your script just have to do something, I think the script is perfect for that. Something very specific, I'd say, uh, like this. You have to do this, 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 and this, and that's okay for this function. If you have to have a lot of iteration, for example, you want to create a world like Minecraft, you know, thousands and millions of voxels, and you have to pre-calculate everything and to build the world just not in real time, but you know, this fast. In this case, use or C Sharp or C++, because scripting languages traditionally are not so powerful on what well, you have to iterate over an iteration and over an iteration. That, that's, for example, Minecraft or any other um, enormous, um, enormous stage uh, builder or whatever. Always keep in mind the target platform of your project before picking languages too. Some may not fully support it. And that's the other reason. And that's true. Thank you, Eon S. The thing is that the main problem choosing C Sharp over JavaScript is that C Sharp, it's, it's okay. It works very well on PC, Linux. Windows, Mac, but maybe C Sharp is not the best for um, mobile platforms. Well, in fact, maybe now works very, very well because Microsoft did a lot of work to improve the mobile support in uh, .NET Core 8. So I think Godot now fully supports C Sharp on mobile platforms, but if you want to support them, if you want to use C Sharp and support, for example, Switch, Nintendo Switch, maybe you will have some difficulties, okay? So as a matter of fact, I've been using Godot for, I know, 1918, 1918, no, uh, 2018, um, 
six years, I didn't need it go off for any of my projects. And I made 3D, 2D, multiplayer, VR, by the way. I'm not doing now, these days, VR games, but maybe in uh, June, I will recover one. I will try to go on with one of my uh, VR games that I started um, three months ago. And I'm doing this with Godot and GD script. So don't worry for the super if you use GD script, but C sharp could be faster sometimes. Maybe it's not as supported as GD script. So just choose test and I don't know. Have fun. Hey, Beast, how are you? How are you doing? Yeah, I agree. I've tried both and I felt that GDS script is just more convenient. It's, it's that's the word mists. It's convenient. GDS script is so convenient, so elegant. Thank you, thank you, Solar Labyrinth. So, let's see. Yeah, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I, I get this graphic very easily and I love this. In fact, I'm as I told you, I'm not the person that just has a project and goes on. I love to change projects. I do a project almost every week. Maybe I am in a project for two weeks. The longest I've been, it's one month, month and a half. Okay, I have I did a lot of games, <laughs> uh, uh, horror games, uh, uh, platformers, um, Twitch chat games and because I love small experiences. Is it really a game dev uh, stream without distractions? It's not. It's not. It's a. It's really a game dev stream, having having its job done at the end of the stream. Of course not. But it's not a true. It's not a true. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I well, I will not show it to you, but. Okay. In fact, as a matter of fact, I as I get distracted a lot, I have one section on my streamings that it's called a game in one hour. And I try to make a game jam, a self game jam of making a game in one hour. And that's it. And I try not to get distracted in one hour and I have to do have something. Maybe one hour or maybe four hours, because also Another thing I do a lot if is to look to the uh, game jam lists, okay? All the game jam lists that are currently going on. You know this list? Have you seen this list? It's very cool. If you want, if you want to participate or you want to do some game jam and you don't know, you have this. It's a timeline. With all the, it's a timeline. Oops, what's, what? What? <gasps> it's been hacked? I think it's been hacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I usually use this one. Come on. Yeah, yeah, each one works well, the other one worked well. What? Okay. 
It's been hot. Come on. <laughs> okay, I... Yeah, it's infected. It's detected by a set. Oh, okay. So. Oh, what a pity. Okay, so I just entered. Okay. So, greetings by MD Fury. How are you? So I just <laughs> I've been able to enter. To <laughs> come on. It's crazy. Okay, so what what I do in a live on stream, I usually what what I do is just check which game jam finish now. <laughs> and I try to do the theme, okay, the game a game with a theme in just one hour or I think it's not one hour this, I don't know. When it finish. Okay, so it will finish in two hours. So what I do is, okay, this is first math game jam. So I go here and I say, okay, two hours, join game jam. And I try to do something in two hours. Okay. And that's one of my sections on streaming. And it's very cool because it's easier to get some game jams, uh, get some games done at the moment. Try it, try it and you will have a lot of fun. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Okay, just one, two hours. Maybe, I don't know, you create something cool in two hours or in four hours, I don't know. In fact, one of the games I created the last time was this. It's called Just Buttons. Okay, it's called Just Buttons. And it's like this. The theme of this game jam was overwhelming. Okay, and, and I only have less, well, I have less than four hours. So I made this. And I also with this game, show people how 3D audio works in Godot. As you can see, the theme was overwhelming. There are a spoiler, there are seven hundred sixty two buttons. So it's a little bit overwhelming at last. So, and that's it. And that's it. It's, it's a cool, it's a simple, cool game. Also, by the way, the sound, the music, it's a uh, uh, procedural. It, it's, uh, um, it changes over the time. It adds new instruments. Uh, the more you are unlocking, the more, <coughs> the more buttons are you are you are unlocking. So it gets. Uh, more stressing and that's it just in four hours i think it's cool and could be more interesting he said that could be a great to have a game jam done in life in one hour yeah yeah yeah. in fact it's one of my future projects really cool yeah a game for vr red horseshoe maybe we can test it in the future in vr so I recommend to you not only to participate in some game jam, but also try to do this, to this, to do the game jam on the last moment. <laughs> okay. Procrastination. That's <laughs> that's my streaming. So. Um. Okay. What we what we were doing. The weapons, the weapons, yeah, the weapons, the weapons. Um, okay, so I want to be able to decide 
procrastination is my last name. And in fact, my name is Rafa Procrastination Laguna. So, um, Pelo Erizo, how are you? So, let's see. Okay, we have this here. And range. Okay, we check. Thank you. I don't know if you are following Godot or me. So, if you want to follow. Godot could be great if you don't follow Godot. Um, Godot, Godot, here in Spain, I say Godot. You know, Godot. I suppose you say Goda or Gada or Eno, whatever your language is. C Serious, how are you? Ches uh, Cheseltron says, hello. I'm very new in game dev. I started some code tutorial. Where should I look to find game jam and maybe find an find a group that would take uh, a new guy by with a new guy by with a lot of dev experience anyway. I don't understand why a new guy by with a lot. Okay, so if you want to participate in any jam you can go to this hack web. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's a pity that in the gamejans.org it's hacked. Okay, it's a pity, but I suppose they will. Yeah. But okay, okay. With a lot of experience, get that. First of all, you have to know or you have to meet somebody on Discord or whatever, the Godot Discord could be cool, okay, could be a good place to find people. I have a Discord also where I try to get in touch with, uh, with game jams and try to, um, and try to announce some new game jam that I think is interesting for my viewers and my followers. But you can also go here. Try to try to enter here um, on uh, hmm, como, como la, la opción de incógnito en in incógnito. It's also incognito in English. <laughs> so try to enter in this in this website. And if you can, because now it's hacked, by the way. It's hacked and there's some bad um badware there. But if you can enter, you will see a lot of game jams. And I think lot of them are suitable for one person. My uh, my advice is to try to do a game jam all along, but a short one. Try to make try to participate in a short game jam, or as I told you, on the last moment. The only time I have, to, uh, uh, the only moment I have to participate in these kinds of things is during my streamings. So what I do, is say, what I do is to look for one that is just finishing, and try to participate on them. Do this because two things. First of all, you will have a theme. You will have some objective to accomplish, some goals to accomplish. And you will not have a lot of time to to spare and to think and to whatever. And it will be very refreshing for you. Um try to try to waste try to waste the little time as possible 
doing your first projects, your first game jams, your first whatever. The worst thing you can do, if it's your first experience in a game jam or creating a game, is to do something that will take you a month or even a week because you have a lot of time to I don't know to think, rethink and hate yourself and whatever. So in fact I will I will do a game jam that it's called the the awesome mini one hour game jam. <laughs> or mini mini game jam one hour I don't know how it was can you hack NASA? Yes. In fact, I hacked them long ago. And I took the videos of the making of of the lunar landing. How are you, Emmy? How are you? Thank you for all the info. You're welcome. If you have any question about this, uh, even if you want some short game jam, stay in touch because I will, I will try to make one. It's one hour. In fact, on streaming, we have participated in this one, the one hour game jam. That is one. Uh, that is my main inspiration. I love this game jam. It's very crazy. It's so crazy. It's it's nonsense. And you learn a lot. You learn that you don't have to be. You doesn't have to be. You you don't have to be a perfectionist. You have to have something and that's it and in one hour you will have <laughs> some shitty mechanic with shitty graphics or parameter graphics or even not parameter graphics well i work a lot with the um, uh debug graphics the debug physics graphics like this and it's cool and it works and it's it's okay to do this in just one hour so take a look for very short game jams. Um, don't do it alone. It's it's okay. Hi Tower, where are you? So thank you everybody for following me. I'm following a lot. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's start. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hello, Emmy. This has been... It's funny because... I I I didn't brought a line of code all this time, but I think I think people is enjoying. I hope yes, I hope people is enjoying. Que gente más guapa en el canal. Hello, Palombre, how are you? Remember that today we are going to talk in English. I hope it's okay for all of you. And if you want me to translate something in Spanish, it's okay also. So in Catalan, but then I will translate it back to English. Okay. So, hi, Stigman. Kepalo hombre, Stigman. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool, Stigman. Okay, we are going to do something. I prefer. I have two, as I as you know, two projects, one game dev teacher. I want to change from one project to another. Because I think now I'm getting stuck here. So I'm going to change to PC, PC football, uh, PC soccer. We saw PC soccer. Hola, inglés está bueno. Un yoyoto. Un jojoto. Un yo, es un yoyoto o es. Okay, we're going to play this. Okay, so how many of you will play with me 
in 10 minutes. How many of you would like to play with me? Because I will upload the game to the server. I also will upload an update to each so you can download them. So, five works. Five works. Okay, what I'm going to do is to is to play myself. I will put this here. Headless server. Okay, so now when I click run, okay, I will change my interface to English so all of you can understand what I'm doing. Okay, so what I did is just in the in the debug uh, menu, you have here uh, a cool tool. I love this tool that lets you to run any number of inter instances of your game so you can run them uh, at the same time look for example this okay I will click well, okay I will change one thing I will write here mute that it's one parameter so only one instance of my game has sound if it's not it's crazy okay so and that's it and you can for example create the server here you can create the server with a ui like this or you can create the server just in command line because the uh, godot has headless support so you don't need to have an interface you can run your game on a server and then all the other games connect to their server it's it's very 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 cool so i will create a server here oh okay so this is the first one Okay, I will, I, will, I will prefer to do this. This is the... I prefer this to be the server. Create server. Okay, waiting for players. It will be translated to Spanish, Catalan, English, Portuguese. And if you want to help me to translate the game to other languages, I will be glad. Any of you is fluent in other languages, like I know... Dutch or German or whatever. So I would love to have some collaboration. Okay, the game is prepared. I'm trying to uh, prepare the game for the translations, but now it's not translated. Okay, it's a very typical Spanish game. So I didn't thought nobody wanted to play the game. So uh, I will start a match. And then I will connect to my own IP. This this one. Name Rafa. And that's it. I will connect to the server. If there are many other players, they will appear in this list. I would love to change this a little bit, but I will tell you later. And okay, I will connect. Bienvenidas al templo del balón pie. <laughs> it's the voice of a famous uh, uh, soccer um, soccer uh, how it's called locutor uh, speaker. Existe forma de crear un server semper. Okay, so Ruteski, you need, you need, an a server, in any way or another. You have a you need a server, um, but you can run two servers on the same computer. Okay, so you can run this one. This is the server. You can run your game, and then with Android, you can connect to the game, and play. Okay, so. 
And that's it. As you can see, you have the preview here in the server. So you can see if you are the server, if you want to broadcast a game. Okay, so you, you can see the match, what's happening on the stadium. And... Call the señor. Okay, so... That's it. And it's very, very, very... Sos un boludo. Como patillas así. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I think it's it's very funny it's very funny you don't like football you don't like soccer okay neither do I but I love this kind of silly games and it's very funny when you have 22 people on the uh, on the field so uh, soccer commentarist it's a commentarist. Estos streams se pueden ver después resumidos o algo así. Yeah. All these streams, all the takeover streams, will be here at least one week. If Godot can be an affiliate account, maybe will be one month. And I don't know, Emmy, are you around? Um, maybe we can create a secondary channel just for this kind of stream, so for the important streams, you know? Maybe it could be interesting to have not the main Godot channel, but secondary. I don't know. Godot engine streams, Godot whatever. And... You know. Hello, Hamon, how are you? Maybe a peer chief account. Oh, cool. Cool. The main problem, the peer, maybe the main problem um, of peer tube is the discoverability. Thank you, Roteski. Thank you. Thank you for following me in my channel. Thank you. You're welcome. But the thing is that I think it would be great to have a peer to Godot channel. Eon. Um, but there are two problems with peer tube. The first one is that you have to take care of another network, you know. And also the discovery. So maybe it could be great to have Peertube alongside um, YouTube, you know. But I don't know the effort that you, you understand. No? So maybe, maybe, maybe Peertube could be great for this kind of streaming. So I can talk with Emmy and, and, and Nat, the CM. On God, so we can do something and I can help. I, I'm i trying to help the most I can with several things. So I'm great. What about you? I'm cool. I love being here in the Godot stream. So remember, remember, remember to retweet the Godot tweet about this stream so many many people can know about this and come here would be nice to organize a game jam where beginners are paired with more experienced mentors and one must stream develop development whoa sick ras there's very, 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 there's very, very cool ideas. The main problem is to organize that in a way that it's fair for everybody. 
and it's you know and not only fair but also it's not a great deal because at least to stream the process of a game to organize or to you know plan and everything it's very difficult and if you have to take care of small teams maybe it's somehow difficult but it could be great for example it could be great for example um ah okay the post in Mastodon. okay i will i will yeah 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 of course of course here you have the blue sky and here excuse me excuse me and Mastodon ones if you want to retweet repost or retweet here you have all the links <laughs> so wait wait I don't know of you but blue sky it doesn't have many mud many it's not that There's, there are not so many interactions in in Blue Sky than in Twitter or Mastodon. I prefer I prefer Mastodon over Blue Sky. But what? Here you are. So Sekras, if you have any idea or if you if any of you want to try to organize something like that, it could be very cool. Even I don't know, make a small jam with for example, eight teams. Every team should make a stream. And I don't know, uh, one mentor or two mentors are going to one another team every two hours or every three hours. Could be very cool. And the problem is to organize that because it feels like a TV program, you know? I know it's, I think it's very difficult to 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 manage all of this okay so this game is published on each but it's not finished it's an early access uh it's just a test okay it's something that i want to uh, publish before the uh june the 7th um and i also will pu will publish this game in physical uh form okay in this way i will publish this this is this is the first this i don't know maybe would be the first god game that will appear in CD <laughs> because I want to publish this game in this way. Why? Because it's it's so retro. It's a Spanish video game that the last time it was published was published in CD. And I don't know. And it's I think it's cool. Also in Verbatim, okay? <laughs> it's this is the best way to publish a game in Verbatim. Cool cover, manual, and whatever, and uh, I know it's cool. It's it's not the way it's intended to be played. I know nobody has any uh, optical drive nowadays, but as a way to say, okay, the game is cool. I'll buy this as a I know. Uh, something to remember you know something to have there so no change of having i can i okay i can record game on a pre-writable disc so you can update the game if <laughs> you can download the updates and record them on the disc <laughs> could be could be interesting, an interesting way to deal with the bugs. 
Nice. But the thing is, uh, it's just something silly. I think it's it's funny, and maybe I will do this for in uh, uh, for real with with a verbatim disc. Yeah, because I don't have any other way to record discs, uh, and and I will sell only twenty twenty five discs, um, and that's it. But it's just something silly and funny for my viewers and for anybody that wants just something to have <laughs> have there like a I don't know um like a picture you know could be could be funny so uh, and obviously the game will be open source okay so you can you can try to check the game okay so we are going to do this you can download the game. We're going to try. We are going to play a little bit. You can download PC Furbo. It's in Spanish, but don't worry. It would be very easy to understand. You can download if you want PC Furbo. It's for Linux, Windows, and Android, not Mac, at least by now. You can download it. And I'm going to uh, start up the server, okay? And you can connect in the same address I will tell you. So, Okay, so if any of you want to play with me, I have their names on the screen, on streaming. You can download the game, it's just free. You can play this on Android and also you can help me to test it on your device. And I'm going to... Run it. Yeah, it's working. I think it is. Okay, so I will try to connect myself first. Okay, first of all. Okay. Okay, try to connect here. If any of you want to connect the game, try to connect here and let me check if it works. Okay, this is the server. This is the server. Okay, JK, it's on. It's okay. You have to click. Okay, you have to click on the on the bottom option. Okay, you have to click on the bottom option on the third option. Okay, if you want to connect, put this IP. Hello, Pooh, how are you? Hello, Mr. Goddard. It's cool, Mr. Goddard. So, no anymore. You can download the game and just select the third option
I will show you here because okay, Eolo. One more or two more. We can be twenty-two people here. So it's plenty of space. If anybody wants to play with me, you are welcome. Thank you. None? Okay, so, oh, one more. <laughs> you Remember that you can install the game on your mobile phone. You have to have enabled the developer options. So if you don't have them, search on the internet how to enable them. Only for Android right now, till Apple doesn't open their uh, SDK and their platform to everybody. I will not support it because, well, legal and philosophical re reasons. So, it's okay. Antronomo, one more. So, let's check it. Bienvenidas al templo del balompié. Okay, so there's something that I have to check how to solve that this is Bolazo. Is this vibration? I don't know what why shakes all the characters when I move. If I don't move, everything goes perfectly. Okay, but if I move, the other characters just shake. I don't know why. Maybe it's something on the refresh of the screen. I, I don't know. Okay. Okay, where is okay the wall is there? So everything, the sound is just a crowd, okay, that it was recorded and it's from YouTube, it's a Creative Commons crowd. So you can use it on your projects. There are plenty of them on YouTube. Oh, and as you can see, there are no rules. It's just trying to kick the ball inside the goal. I'm allowed here. You can also can jump. It's not need to jump at all, but <laughs> what would you add to this game? Tiene la furia del dragón. Oh. Come on. Oh, man. Sos un boludo. Como patias así. Something to hit players and stun them. Oh. Like a one hit weapon or something like that. Okay. Gol de una persona muy hermosa. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Pata pumpa arriba. 
and all the commentaries are from a um, Argentinian uh, commenter. We used, and I, we don't use usually AI for anything here. I I don't I don't like AI, but somebody told me that we can use a text to speech tool that it has a free. Um, you can use it for free, and obviously for this kind of project that are very. Oh, come on. Uh, for these kind of projects that are very simple and small, I created a lot of commentaries. Come on, man, come on. Only 30 seconds. Come on, come on. Oh. Ah. I'm the worst. Come on. de correr. Terminaron de jugar. Okay, so we won. That's it for now. I want to have some confetti or something like, I know, falling and something more spectacular. I don't know. Uh, that's it. That's it. It's, it's, it's a funny, it's a funny game. It's a simple game, but the main thing about this game is that it's a multiplayer game using the stack, the multiplayer stack from Godot. Okay. I think it's, it's funny to play. Um, uh, it's funny to play, but the thing is that, um, a uh, winner team should wear cup hats in in the next round. Oh, okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's it. That's that's the main reason of this project. I wanted to create something uh, multiplayer and have the experience to uh, be able to make something that all my viewers can use and can play. And I think it's working very well. But there's some things that I have to do, like the shaking, the character shaking. Okay, I know, but the characters are shaking. Hello, Rafa. Hello, Vitrubili. How are you? Or hit them with your hand like a slap and get that dizzy today. Uh -uh. Okay, okay, okay. I think like Mario games did the same. Alexander Wilkins, buenos dias. Hello, how are you? Hit other players and make them and uh, make their controller work backwards for a few seconds. Oh, I love this. I love this. But we have to do in a no violent way. You know, we have to do something in a non violent way. So let me think about it. How can we do? How can we do? And uh, I don't know. A weapon or a power up that lets you freeze the other players or do something with them. Good engine. How are you? How are you? Are, how are you doing? Uh, well, well, uh, we are. <laughs> we talked a lot. We talked a lot. We talked a lot about development, about silly things of uh, Godot, game jams, and my projects. And it has been... It's been interesting. 
I saw the boss shaking a lot while playing. Why? Why shakes? But if you stay still, the ball and the players don't shake. Is it? Why? Cesar, how are you? Is this to-do list with Godot? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want this to-do list, search for, search for, um, simple to do. Simple to do. It's an add-on, as its name its name says. Very simple. <laughs> and there's another. There's another to do. You can check for them. People use this. This is just for uh, comments. You can write comments, and it will list all the comments to do hack, fix me, and things like that. Uh, but the thing is that I use this, and I love this. It's simple and works, but maybe you can... Wow, this this even doesn't have anything, so I don't know. Kanban task to manager 2. This maybe it's cooler. I don't know. But... Convenient that it's built into editor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a convenient. And the thing is that it's inside your project. So when you commit your project to your repository, it goes with you. It goes with the project. Friendly bonk. Friendly bonk. Friendly bonk. No, I know what to do. I know what to do. From time to time, a trunk, a tree trunk will appear. Come on, it's perfect. Okay, I don't know if you know what this game about. Party, party. It's how it's called, a name, an Spanish name, in Euskera, in Basque. Okay. Basque country. It's a uh, it's a region from Spain and they have their own language. Okay. I'm from Catalonia. I have, we have also our own language, but it's not that different from Spanish or French or French. Euskera, it's totally different and have, it's, it's, well, it's, it's totally different. It's the only thing I can say. Okay. So Pachi is how Basque people says from Francisco. It's another Spanish game. Okay. Okay. My, do, do you like my t-shirt? I, I will make a little spam because all the money from this t-shirt. Okay. This t-shirt, it's designed. This t-shirt was designed by my artist, the one, the, the my moderator and artist, um, Laprat. And all the money, the all the money will go to 50% Laprat and 50% Gold Foundation. So I, I don't take any of it. Okay, from the revenue of the t-shirts, cups, or whatever. I don't take a penny. I don't take a cent. And everything goes to my artist and the Godot Foundation. So, if you like it, just take a look. There are, there are two or three different designs. And I think uh, if you like them, also, you will help people. You will help the project and you will help the artist. Um, as I told you, sorry, I, uh, if you want to help me, there are other ways, but this is not. You just are doing a good action and wearing a cool t-shirt. So there are also stickers. There are also a lot of things. Uh, Go plus screen. In fact, in fact, Laprat. Laprat also made this. Laprat made this. There are more inside the package, but 
made these uh, splash screens that you can download. Okay. And any of these designs or any of the Godot designs, uh, for example, this, this is the last one we have. It's a cool sticker. As a sticker, it's very, very cool, but also uh, you have this in black, white, color, but also you have a retro Godet. This is very cool because it's, it's Godet with uh, several video game consoles. Retro consoles, I know it's it's cool, and also you have this Godet that, by the way, Nat has this, and it looks great on her. So, um, you know, if you want any of them, thank you. It's just for the Godot Foundation and for the artist. So. Thank you for asking, Alexander. In fact, I was forgetting about this. I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to talk about this from the beginning, but I forgot. And you can, by the way, also, as I told you, can have these cool spy screens. They are Creative Commons. Thank you, Icterus. Hello, Kaden. How are you? Kaden is silly. No, you are not silly, Kaden. Why are you silly? Okay, if you want these splash screens, this cool splash screen for your game. Um. Because I can I have to be silly. No. Hi, Django. How are you? So, I love your ideas. And I'm going to do something. Open game art. No, I will. Oh, come on. Come on. Ideas. <laughs> ideas. Ah, uh, man. Okay, what I'm going to do is to recycle an old project. Well, it's not that old, it's from this Christmas. I made a horror game about, you know, what is this? You know what is this? It's from Catalonia. You know what is this? It's what it's called a shitty log. Shitty log? It's, it's like uh, Father Christmas. It's like Santa Claus or Catalonian. And the poopoo log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I made this Christmas a horror game about this. I know what it is. I don't know how it could translate it. Cagatio. Uh, it's, it's, it's shitty log. It's in, in English, it's shitty log. So, I made a game. As I told you, I make a lot of games. Um, okay. Let's check how it works here. It, it was made for Godot 4.2. So, it's important now. Uh, 
And and okay, okay, okay. So let's check if it works. And let's check if the stream doesn't break. Okay? Because Poop, puppy ankle? No, because it's not it's not an Okay, so The game could be in English, Spanish, okay? So, find the, fi the, find the five Tarangins and bring them to the baskets. The Tarangins have power. He can have that power. But watch out, because he listens to you. Remember, E, grab, and F. Okay, the um, this is just a silly game I made in one week. Okay, well, in fact, not it. It was made in twelve hours. It's a game that I made in twelve hours about this. Uh, this thing. Okay, I will. I will. Put in a. Make some ambience. Okay. You listen to it. This is this is the shitty love that comes to you. Okay, look. Is there? Okay, there's one time in here. There's one. So let's take it. Come on. Come on. So that's it. You have to tap here five. Uh, tangerines, okay. So you can escape from here, but every time you take one tangerine, the deal comes faster to you. And then, well, I have to maybe tune this game because it's very dark sometimes, but the thing is that. This is done in 12 hours using a lot. I think it's cool for the time we spend on streaming. But what I'm going to do now it's to recycle. And I'm going to take one of the files. In fact, I'm going to take the uh, trunk model. Okay, we have the wood here. And I think it's wooden stick. I don't know if this is what I need. But I think with these two files. I'm going to take the football. Here. Okay, so that's it. If you want to play, I can try to make a more 
update build for you. Uh, the regular one it's a little bit broken because it's 12 hour project. And let's check stage. Maybe I can do somebody told me before I read on the side that somebody told there are too many scenes open. Yeah. It's it's the uh digital diogenes, you know. Uh okay, so 3D scene. I will put one and let's put here this it's okay for me um zero 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 and now we're going to add some material surface okay let's add some new material standard material and then an albedo and this I think it's okay I think we don't need UV it's okay for our needs and I think maybe less metallic and uh, let's play a little bit with the roughness okay so uh, it's okay i think it's okay i would like to give the game um I would like to give the game some cartoonish look. Now it's just very default Godot environment because I didn't care at the beginning about it. It just was a funny multiplayer game, but now I want to polish it, you know, in good condition. So. If you know some shader that could help to the look, it would be very, very interesting to apply to it. Okay, so, okay, we have this trunk. Porque trunk era trunk. Es estas cosas que son for friends. Trunk. Sometimes. Trunk. And now I will add some, no, I will, how can we do this? No, it will not be just a regular node 3D. We can change it, okay? You can change the type of node. I think I will use a regular character body 3D, not a rigid body, because a rigid body, maybe it will be somehow Difficult to control, and I prefer to use a uh, character 3D. And now I will add some collisions. Collision set uh, tape 3D, and this will be a cylinder. And this cylinder, we will rotate it in this way. And the side we're going to do this even a little bit less this it's okay and now from this side a little bit smaller we don't need some that much precision okay so okay cool what i'm going to do now What I'm going to do now. The thing is that, like, at it's a very it's very difficult to explain if you don't know the 
Basque lore. But the thing is that here in this uh, region from my country called Basque country, uh, they have some sports about doing rough things, you know, doing, I don't know, pulling up stones and throwing trunks and things like that. Let's let me show you. <laughs> okay, so Um, okay. Okay, this is not exactly the Basque by itself. It's Tudela. It's from Navarra. It's another place, but they are. They have some traditions that are very similar. Okay, and some of these sports. And they do things like this. This is this is a regular sport from my country. Okay, so uh, yeah, we, we also play football, soccer. We also made other things, but this is very good for your <laughs> neck, and it's something that everybody does in the school. No, it's not true, but looks easy, looks easy, and I know it's comfortable. You know, oh, I have pain in my neck. Do this, and you will not have pain in your neck. Maybe you will not have any neck. So, <laughs> okay, this is one one thing. I'm getting a stretch watching it. I know. I know. Also, you have this, okay? <laughs> uh, I Colaris are the ones that cut uh, trunks, okay? And... So this is this is a regular sport or at least uh, competition in my country. Okay, so uh, well, it's not it's an innovation of my country. And what they do is to be the fastest. Okay, let me show. Okay, so this is all well, this, but also okay with this cylinder trunks and whatever maybe you enter here because you want to know how to go out and you are learning things that you didn't expect i hope <laughs> i hope you're enjoying it but uh so okay let me this is also another sport I love to talk about my culture, okay, or at least the culture of my country or the different regions. I love different regions from my country. And look, this is, this is, <laughs> you have a trunk and you have to be the fastest cutting it. Okay. And, and that's it. And that's it. That's Basque country with sports. We can do something like that. It would have been great to have some kind. Oh, please don't give me more ideas. I don't have time for everything. Okay. But I can Okay, so it's it's this. It's this. So uh I'm going to do something with this trunk. And I think what I'm going to do is to throw randomly the trunk okay so it will go from one side to the other and you will have to jump could be very cool let's do something with this uh after eight catalans or names and catalan simulator we can do best country simulator okay uh, we can do this we can do this so let's try to do this and first of all, first of all, just for, just for 
the um, proportions of everything just to know how big is this trunk let me put this on the stage I think this is it's not that big it's just a perspective okay ah no it's perfect I think it's perfect even I think it's perfect even a little bit small I know maybe it's a little bit small yeah I think it is so I'll scale it by two hi Nibis how are you I am going to scale it by two and I'm going to give this some movement some easy movement I, I, I don't want to do something crazy but we're going to give some scripting and what we are going to do is to we are going to make it move just in one direction okay clear not my scale of doing stuff in 3D I wonder Rafa how big is my bread or my onion we will check it later if you want um, what we are going to do uh, we don't need we need this we don't need this we don't need this this is just a direction the direction so maybe this is vector uh, vector 2 no yeah vector 2 y and of course vector 2 y uh, vector 2 y or oh, is vector 2 and we can do this no vector 2 yeah vector 2 Okay, we can do this for the movement. And X. I'm good. Oh, cool. Any of you came to the stream to learn Godot? If you want to ask me anything, it's okay. How heavy is that rock? Depending. Granular. Depending. Maybe from... I don't know. Maybe... Uh, in fact, uh, uh, let me check. Let me check. Okay, so if I understand. Okay, are you here? Granular. The rock is the smaller one. 100 kilos to 125. And also could be from 125 to 1212 and a half. Okay, so rough people. Hello, Hanim. So let's check how it will work. Uh, 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 trunk, how can we play this? How can we play this without? Let me check. Okay, it's working. It's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> okay, okay, it works. It works. It definitely works. It's Amine. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
uh, it's working, it's working, but now it should rotate some way or another, okay? So, um, let me think, how can we do this? If we want to rotate, we can add, we can do many things, we can have a twin, we can have just something that every, every time, every process, physics process, just adds an angle or whatever, but we also can have an animation player that rotates, you know, it's not that crazy. Um, so we can do this, rotate, we can now add a track from the graphic, the 3D model. I'm doing a silly soccer game, a silly soccer, a silly football game, very, very silly. And uh, multiplayer, it's multiplayer, it's online, but it doesn't have anything about multiplayer. Is it possible to do rotation based on the diameter of the log and the steps doing mass uh, doing mass and stuff? Yeah, of course. It's not it's not only possible. It also could be maybe a better solution, or not exactly a better solution, but maybe a more efficient one. If you are going to have lot of logs, lot of trunks, lot of logs on the screen, you know. Um, so that's it, but I prefer to do this because I think it's cool and we can see how it works. So rotation, it's okay. Rest one here. I want to rotate this in this way. So, okay. I will put it like this, insert key. It's okay. By the way, Godot 4.3, at least this development version, has a small bug, but it's not, uh, I don't know, I get nervous every time I see this. Look, usually this is like this, but I don't know why. God for three. Put this on a different scale, but it's not something to worry about. It's something, you know, not convenient. Cool. I want to switch to Godot. You have some advices. Okay. So if you want the basic advice to switch to Godot is to don't fear JD script, but also try to feel, um, I don't know how to, um, in English, Try to feel f comfortable with the interface and with the language before trying to do any game, okay? So the thing is that try to make something stupid. Try to make something that doesn't work uh, at all as a game, but maybe works as a short experiment. For example, maybe you want to make games. <laughs> maybe not. You want to make games. So try to start just put in some buttons on the screen, you know, try to get some button on the screen in any way. You don't have to understand how the controls work. Uh, try to understand how small things work. And try to understand how the 
go to the interface work, JavaScript works, and when you had understood at least how to move through the interface, what is a node 3D, a node 2D, a control node, how to put a button, how to put a simple geometric form or whatever, understand how this works. Signals. Okay, signals is the one of the more powerful tools from Godot. Signals let you to communicate any node at any time in very elegant ways. Okay, so first of all, try to feel comfortable with the interface, just moving around, where's everything and all this. Try to understand how Godot works in the sense of what are the nodes, which nodes there are. Try to put everything on the screen. Don't worry if everything breaks. Feel comfortable. Then try to understand a little bit how GDScript works and then the signals. Okay? So my advice works very well with this. Here, I will show you. Here you have a guide. This guide. Okay, let me. Okay. This guide is the best guide you can follow to start. Okay, so you have here you can see you have an introduction then you have this step by step then your first 2d game and your first 3d game so the thing is that if you follow this guide step by step okay, introduction it's a pleasant read just read what these introductions have to tell you. You don't have, you don't need to be in front of the computer to read this introduction. It's just the philosophy of the project, how, um, how it works, how, why Godot is like, like, the way it is. I mean, I got some experience in Gant with Gant that No, no, this will tell you how to understand the interface, how to relate with the language how everything works the step by step will tell you anything you need to understand how the interface how the engine by itself works and then the, for this for this section you have to be in front of the computer and you have to expect some small clicking and practice okay but then Try this. Your first to the game. I want to do the 3D game. I don't I'm not I do not have any interest in 2D games. No, don't worry, it's okay. Do this 2D game. Because this 2D game will show you the basics of everything I told you. And it's very simple. And if it works, you have understood a lot of things. But then don't uh uh, go on, okay. Don't if you don't want to do a 3D game, try to go on and do this 3D game because with a 2D game and the 3D game, you will learn all you need to start creating games with Godot. Okay, maybe you don't want to do 3D games, it's okay, but do this example because this example lacks from some, some things, lacks from some things that. The 3D game will tell you. And if you jump directly to the 3D game without trying to do the 2D game, you will lose also several things that are need to do this example. Okay. So this is a cool, very cool, very cool, very cool introduction to Godot. And it's very easy. If you have experience, you will do this in one day, in two days. I don't know. 
but take a look one more time if you have experience you will enjoy it and you will be faster if you don't have any experience you will be not that fast but you also will enjoy it and you will have at the end two games one 2d and one 3d and i think that it's very cool the first time you start using an engine so that's it and obviously and obviously if you <laughs> if you know how to make games you can take these examples and go one step beyond okay so take a look all of you if you want to understand how Godot works and if you want to understand how an engine works take a look to this Garbot Games says I found this through Pirate Software I have no experience and I'm working through the learn to code from zero the step by step it's very easy to understand and enjoyable. Uh, you're talking about Godot. Learn to code from zero because it could be anything, you know. Give me some context, please, Garbot. You're very cool, very cool, very cool that you found this through Byte Software. Thanks, you have me a lot. I will read. Oh, okay. If you need, uh, if you need some help, I'm. My own channel okay i'm rafa lagoon i usually stream in spanish but also i can change to english or catalan or other languages that i i can talk um, so invented once also but you're all welcome yes there's an awesome course on github for god for cool 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 very cool ruso ruso hello how are you hola so I just okay cool thank you thank you all of you just not only following me but also please follow Godot and remember if you like this t-shirt all the money um, you spend on this all the earnings let me check where I have my own All the benefits from this t-shirt if you buy this t-shirt in any of its uh variants all the money will go to the artist and the Godot foundation 50 percent each i think it's cool i think it's cool i think you can share your love for the engine and also help an artist and help the foundation so Think it's cool. Remember, remember that if you do this introduction, as I told you before, any other course, any other course, will be faster, and you understand, will understand everything in a better way. Plug in the shirts again. You could be a good telemarketer. <laughs> do you do you imagine that I put the same effort in my own things? I talk about I, I, I talked more about the tertiary than my own game. Okay. <laughs> then Okay, so Let's go on, let's go on, and let's do this. Also, what I'm going to do is to, you know, this is, this is El Bicho Pelao. Uh, okay, this is about the storage, okay. So, what about if, this is the area, okay, and the player, Sing one and two. Hmm. I also going to put the players in the fifth layer. 
where is going to be also this area 3D with this collision shape I thank you. Thank you, Nat. It's it's not Nip. In fact, I'm going to talk about my game. <laughs> Just one one second, okay? Um because nobody knows what's about, okay, so I have here it's not it's going to be on a, a short um uh, una tirada corta en inglés ¿cómo se dice esto? esto es una cosa que no short run no this is a game that I'm going to publish on Steam but also for my viewers, I will do a physical edition in a very short run. Uh, it's called Two Cows. And this is a story about two cows that want to be free and and live and live their love in freedom. So thank you if you want to know more about the game, you can go to the this world form and put your email and that's it. Okay, so five layer is gold. Do you think that gold it's the fifth layer? The fifth layer is gold? Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Could be very funny if the goal is the fifth layer too. That's because I'm a man of <laughs> I I'm very <laughs> squared headed and of course of course nine i have to write them down let me check layers physical layers physical layers okay so render physics physics goal then eight nine i will put it on nine and can write it like collisions, enemies, obstacles, obstacles, for example. No, obstacles, no, because how can trunk, trunk, but yeah, there will be only one obstacle, so it's cool if we call it trunk. So we are going to detect nine, and if it no, this not and also this is not only we are going to detect the ninth layer and it's okay what do you say Alexander excuse me Alexander I didn't read you you say something I have taught myself JavaScript with coding and the first year sucked that it was so hard I quit multiple times tutorials, but that wasn't my. I recorded my stumps. Uh, okay. 
Alexander, it, Alexander says, I just hoping, I, I just, just hoping to bring some hope to the community. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know who is the person that has problems with his script, or I don't know what it's the problem. But the thing is that coding, it's not that hard. Like making things with your code is hard. So coding, it's the the basics of the coding. It's not that hard. You can understand the basics in two afternoons. It's easy. But practice is what will help you to create things. Your brain gears will not start working fluently till you break your head several times with multiple problems that maybe have been solved thousands of times, but you have to understand and learn how to solve by yourself. It's hard, but it could have, it could be also funny. How? You just need small and short projects to do. So the more projects you do, the more small things you create, the more you will understand. So Yeah, coding is easy, creating with code is hard at first, but when you understand and you have a lot of practice, you will be fluent. Don't worry, it's just not a long path to arrive to that moment, but it's a path that you have to try to, I don't know, work a little bit. Wave of C, Rafa. <laughs> now we have to use English, but some will understand. Don't worry, Wave of C, come on. Wave of C in Spanish is hola, but with H. Uh, Alexander says, what would you say, Rafa, that for each problem you overcome, it becomes a skill? It's interesting. I think that which every problem you overcome, you have a small piece of a small Tetris piece in your head that will sometimes eventually work with other pieces. And then someday some big problem will arrive and everything together will form line and that's new skill and you are, will understand that wow everything i've been doing works perfectly and but yeah it's a new skill it's a new part of you i love to i love to teach things that when my students understand they feel great they feel that they have grown in some way or another. And learning to code, learning to solve problems with code and creating new problems with code and being able to overcome them, it's great for that. It's one of the best ways anybody can feel that they have created something from nothing. Uh, the big long piece shows up exactly. That's the big project and everything. Hi, X X Rayeth. How are you? So we have a trunk here. I'm going to make this collision shape a little bit smaller. Not that much as the other one. 
maybe maybe a little bit bigger radius okay so this one it's okay I think it's okay now also cool cool I think it's okay now It's such a good feeling when you do something successfully with a new tool. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But in fact, it's, I think it's even better. Yeah, dopamine, it's important. But when you realize that you understood your tool and you make this tool yours and you do things like this, I think that's the best feeling you can have because you feel at home, you know, and that's why obviously I'm at home. I mean, on the Godot engine, um, Twitch channel. Okay. I'm at home, but I feel good like that. Like I'm, I'm at home when I open the engine and I have an idea I say I know how to do this or maybe if I don't know how to do something I know that somebody will help me in a way to another to do this so yeah obviously as always we can talk about things that lacks or doesn't work the way we expect it but as, uh, as in any engine Flying Tortora says, hello guys, starting a new project in Godot, hope you will see on Steam in a couple of months, really nice engine, I love it, I hope it, I hope, I hope we can play your game, I hope you can join also all the games from this, the people that are looking right now, this channel, Luis Mataró, <laughs> Art. Good Indian accent. Okay, so I'm trying my best. Can you put the link in the shirt? Yeah, of course. We have it here. Search for it. And you have it here. All the money that this, the Godot designs made, the earnings, okay? So uh, everything uh, the benefit, okay. Um, the benefit from these t-shirts or cups or whatever um, will be will go to the Godot Foundation and to the artist. I stream every day on my own channel every day, if I can, because it's not my main. It's not my main job, okay. So. Uh, every day, half past 12 uh, CST, I try to be on my channel, okay? If not, just look in my networks, okay? Okay, so let's go on. And the next thing I'm going to do is try to, okay, I'm going to connect this to the body entered signal.
and I will do this. Okay, if some, if there's a body, what can we do? What can we do? Okay, first of all, we are going to check. Uh, we're going to check if this works. Okay, this. This way. And then we are going to do this. Anyways, totally not Indian accent, more Spanish. I'm wrong, yeah, I'm a Spanish. Yeah, I'm a Spanish. That's it. It's It's a very strange that somebody says that I have an Indian accent. I can understand that I'm not fluent at all because I'm not used to speaking English. But Indian accent is somehow uh, okay. <laughs> But don't worry, it's okay. It's funny, it has been funny. Okay, so what we can just do now? Okay, this is going to be a loop. And the automatic. In fact, Bukibu, Icterus, and R and R uh, R S two three two are moderators of the channel today because I ask Nat to make them moderators so they can help if they want in this channel. Okay. Why using character? Why using character instead of rigid body for the trunk? I prefer to use character bodies where I need to have some control over them. The problem of the rigid bodies is that in a way or another they tend to be mm, I don't know, more tricky. And as they all as it will be only two or three trunks two or three locks on the on the screen on the stage it's not any problem you know i prefer to use character bodies every time i have to do something that i need to move with my code in fact as a matter of fact sacado uh the thing is that in godot rigid bodies are not that um, they are not thought to be used by the programmer. The thing is that they work as part of the physics engine and interact with other elements. And if you can avoid to change coordinates or move them with your code, the better. You can use them with forces, for example, you can push a rigid body with forces, but if you try to animate, if you try to force uh, um, if you try to force a rigid body with your code, you are going to break several things inside the project. Okay? So, try not to Try not to um, use. Uh, excuse me. Try not to use rigid body when you have to modify things with your code. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Fellow master. Hi, guys. This stream is only. In English, yeah, but if you need something in Spanish and in Catalan, I don't have any problem to change 
just for that and then to translate everything in English. It's okay. Also, by the way, Icterus Games, Icterus Games is is the Godot wisdom by itself. It's a mesh. It's a it's a wither. It's a Godot wither. So if you want to follow him, he knows a lot of about Godot and now he's creating his own game. It's it's also helping me to do a lot of things and it's my technical support here. So if you want to follow him, what would you <clears throat> what would you suggest? What would you suggest to someone who is switching from Godot to more professional game engines like Unity or Unreal? Godot is unique that it find I find difficult to try out other engines. Godot simply it's addictive. How to progress further professionally? Wow. It's a tricky it's a tricky question because you are saying that with Godot you cannot do professional projects and that's not true. In fact, in fact, okay, I will answer your question, but first let me do this introduction. Okay, so the thing is, nowadays Godot is asked in a lot of uh, companies. You can work several places with Godot, not at all in the same proportion as in Unity or Unreal, of, of course. But for example, a lot of people that is in my community is nowadays working with Godot in companies that, and they are artists, for example, or programmers or whatever. So that's, you know, saying that the Godot is not professional. Maybe we can talk about that Unity Unreal is in a lot of places because they obviously have billionaire companies behind of them. Okay, that's true. And they have all of the companies nowadays working with them. That's that's true. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to answer you. But in the sense that first of all, first of all, if you want to use Unity or Unreal, use them. It's not a matter that Godot is addictive. Godot is very cool. And maybe you feel somehow out of place using Unity or Unreal. That's, that's something that happens in the other way too. When you are use Unreal or Unity, or Game Maker, or Rylip, or any other engine or framework, you can feel somehow, I don't know, out of place. And it's something that happens to everybody. So the thing is that if you want to, first of all, choose one engine, look the kind of company you want to work maybe you realize that that kind of company doesn't use godot neither unity neither unreal or whatever maybe they use their own engine and the experience you have using godot the experience you will have using any other engine will help you to understand how the engine of this company works. So, I think your statement is not right. I think Godot, it's a professional or 
very professional engine that is not used because it's not uh, the most known or it just arrived okay so the thing is that don't worry about your engine worry about where do you want to work if you want to apply to a company that uses unity learn unity and that's it if you want to apply to a company that uses whatever learn whatever and that's it and the thing is that you can make professional games with any engine you can do and you can use but the creator of God said creator of God as uh, I, 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 creator of God as a concept it's not exactly right there are several creators okay and nowadays Godot is something more than a creator okay because it's an open source project that it's used and maintained by thousands of people so I will read your statement he said but the creator of God said our goal is to make the best engine you will ever use having lots of fun along the way and make sure accessible as possible for everyone we are not we are not here to sell a professional uh, product or make money from you. So, God is really professional. Uh, what do you understand by to make the best engine you will ever use? What I suppose that it's Juan, the one that wrote this this sentence I suppose that is one what he said is not that they are going to make a product just because it's going to be professional they are not going to sell you a tool they are, they are building the tool and the thing is that Godot Maybe now it's not the most used. Maybe never will be the most used. I don't know. But what he's saying with the phrase is that they are making an engine. The best engine they can. They are not selling you anything. And that's the clue. If the engine it's professional or not it's up to you totally nothing is professional then I I think I'm not saying that at all I think I just said the other way Godot is as professional as you Unity is as professional as you and any other mo uh, engine is as professional as you can. That's it. The only tool it's not professional is the tool that doesn't let you to create the things you want to live and to make a living. Okay? That's the only thing it's not professional. And I think that Godot is professional enough to make games that make money that are part of the industry and it's very cool that you can do whatever you want with any other engine that this is not black or white this is not something that the industry is, is what it is and if you need unity if you need unreal if you need any other engine being open source or not to live to create your projects it's okay it is what it is and don't worry go on I try to use I try to use open source as much as I can in fact the only software 
I it's not open source in my stack. There are two. Okay, it's Discord. It's not open source. Okay, it's based. It's based somehow in open source standards, but it's not open source as a platform. And Steam. But. I will never tell you, no, no, you have to use this because if not, no, you have to use whatever you need anytime because first you have to be able to eat so you can go on with whatever you want to do. Okay. Can you make money without pretty clear? Yes. No, in fact, you only have to see successful projects as I don't know but I don't know if you know but I will show you two or three projects that are very cool looking and professional and they made money Very fast. Okay. So, um, okay. Okay. I have, I think that Road to Bostock, it's so cool, but. I will show you first these projects. Okay, I will show you first this. Road to Bostock. Okay? Road to Bostock. This game started as a Unity game when all the Unity Calypse happened. They decided, or he decided, I think it's one developer. They decided to change for Godot. And go on with it, with using Godot. And it's very, very, very cool. And I think for the standards, you can think that it's very, very professional. But there are other kind of games that you can make with, with Godot, for example. Cassette Beast. Cassette Beast is impressive. Rafa, how are you two projects doing? Uh, not bad. At least one of them. I, I, I'm talking about all of them and also answering questions. You know? Um, and now I'm talking about cool projects that are made with Godot. And I think it's... They are look, uh, professional looking. This is one. Uh, this is very cool, cool project. It's also for Switch. Okay, very cool. And this last one, it's also very cool. It's simpler, but I love it. But I love it. So remember, so remember, you can, any tool that helps you to create the project that will have you make a living it's a 
professional too. So choose whatever you need. Choose whatever you makes you happy, fits the way you think, and it's okay. Any of them will be okay. So don't worry at all for the tool just because it's the one that helps you to work. So let's go. I, 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 I try to work a little bit more on my game because I'm not <laughs> I'm not advancing on my game so I try to uh, I try to go on and then if you want a QA a little QA, QA later okay okay if you want to wait a little bit we we can talk later. And now I want to make this trunk destroy my players or not destroy. We can, we can have some, you know, these um, stars or birds that appear on the classic cartoons. Okay. We are already checking logs. Exactly. <laughs> it, as a game dev. Streaming, I'm checking logs right now. Okay, look this log. Hmm, this is a cool log. I love to check logs. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. So, let's see what we can do. So, if okay, we need some stars. We need some birds. We need something. Birds, we are going to search for open game art and let's check for birds or bird. Okay, so 3D or 2D? 3D or 2D? What we, you know, when on the cartoons. Uh, some character gets smashed or get whatever. 3D? 3D? <sighs> 3D. Okay, so let's search for a 3D. Three D bird. Oh, perfect. Perfection. I love chicken, but uh, this is, this is, this is so silly. What the fuck? No, it's too silly. I think it's no, 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 no. It's wrong. It's I I no. No no. That's beyond my the the, the roaster. <sighs> oh my god. This is so creepy. Too realistic. Too realistic. Too realistic. And this one Oh my god. Too realistic. Maybe, maybe too realistic here is fun. I don't know. An ostrich. No, no, no. It's <laughs> an ostrich bird. 
let's check if you find a bird oh this one i love this one no 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 don't worry don't worry that is cert. don't worry i think we found it i i think you agree this one it's perfect i think it's If you want to model it, if you want to model it, I don't have any problem, okay? It, it could be funny. If you want to model it, it could be funny. Okay, look how how it has to be. Okay, just for fun. I know, I know, just for fun. Okay, so if you help, you will ap appear on the credits. It's, 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 it's just um, a simple game. Maybe I will sell... <laughs> uh physical edition but i don't know it's just for fun okay so um so the thing is i will use this as a i will use this as a um placeholder let me Let me check which texture is SC1. Okay. Okay. Need the bird. Yeah, but this texture, do you know this format? SC1, I don't know this. Nope, I don't know this format. Do you know this format, SC1? No, SimCity, no, it's an attribute, okay, but What is this? SC1, uh, I, I don't know this format. I have never seen this format. So if you wanna tell us, sir, do this, do, do a bird for me, for this project, I will put you in the, the credits. Okay, so. I will not use this bird, but I will use a small. Now, I'm going to maybe I can. If you don't, please make something silly. Well, not not very silly, but nothing with a lot of polys. But I'm going to do a mesh instance. Mesh instance 3D, and I will use this as a bird right now okay what you do for a living a uh, lot of things i am a teacher mainly i teach on the university and professional formation you know professional studies so i teach uh, computer science and also I teach game design and all about video games and whatever and the thing is that also I made video games in the past I have my own company and well 
it worked well for a while, but you know, it's somehow sometimes some difficult, uh, a little bit difficult. And now I try to make games by my own on streaming and also create content. And okay, this is this is my come on. This is my my bird. Okay. I'm waiting for the tallest bird, but this is my bird. And also so that the thing is that my main my main one moment please. Happening. Okay. Uh, my main way to make a living is by teaching. At least nowadays. Uh, 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 um. Hello, Mr. Vega, how are you? But, as I told you, now I think, I will be able to make games as a main, main job. Sorry if I cannot, I'm, I'm thinking what I'm doing. Um, as my main job, I will try to make games one more time. Yeah. And let's. This is my bird. Do you like my bird? Pyramid bird. We have pyramid head. And we have pyramid bird. Okay, so we are going to make some small and see the animation. And we will something like this. No 3D. We put no 3D. Birds. I will call it birds. Okay, see you going. True, thank you. In Spanish, is Te gusta mi pajarito? Of course, of course, Te gusta mi pajarito is. Boogie book, please. El bicho pelado. El bicho pelado. Do you know which is the bicho pelado? Okay, so this will be the bird, maybe this size, maybe this size, and now I'm going to do this. Um, A ver. Uh, 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 um. uh. 
Okay. And then two more in this way. Okay, and then eight more in this way. Oops. No. Oh, it's not what I expected. This works, this works, but this not. Why this two not? There's only two that are looking on the other side. What has happened? Okay, so don't worry. It's okay. No. Okay, this one. And that's it. I think all the birds do it like this. Those birds are trying to eat uh, the video. No, no, no. Thing is that, you know, this cartoonish idea of getting knocked down when you get hit so is this and now I'm going to do a short animation birds animation and rotation and I will do this this is going to be rotation in this way also, now in this way, loop, and uh, let's see, too fast, too furious, maybe four seconds. I think it's okay. I cannot see Pac-Man. I know, I know. But it's a placeholder. Remember, it's a placeholder. I'm from Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. Throw sail. Yeah, that is the effect. How useful? Oh, it's very useful when you use it. But the thing is that when you are in a streaming and somebody tells you something and then you have an idea and you want to make that idea <laughs> very hard. So maybe you don't follow. But yeah, it's very, 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 very useful. I use it a lot. Okay. I also... Uh, Avoid it, not because I want, but because some idea comes, but oh my God, I felt that, yeah, whatever you yeah, 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 in fact, there is a cool trick, this is what it's called. Project management. Look. Oh. Yeah. It's on my list. And birds. <laughs> it's on my list. 
this is project management this is the project management management of the future i think it's the best way you can manage your projects and now it's totally planned with um, actually it even looks like easy to use that can zoom as well it's Hello, Heroes Way. How are you? How are you, Heroes? What are you doing? Okay, but, but, my character... How can I get it? You can come here, to do, simple to do. That's it. That's simple. And you can create the board you need. You need new column, you can add it and that's it. It's simple and it works. So let's try something. Okay, we have we have this trunk here. We have this trunk here and I what I'm going to do is to same way I have a jump value a jump function I will do a DC function I don't know how to call there are two things that are very difficult in programming and if you are new in programming if you don't program that much maybe you will encounter one of them the first of all is to know how memory works and how the processors use the memory this is difficult but you can get used to the second one is how we can put names, variables and functions. This is the worst thing of all of them. Naming, it's the worst. So DC, I don't know. But what we are going to do is to, first of all, birds will be visible. And then birds animation player play rotation. Okay. So this first of all we are going to do this. Also it will change speed, for example. It will change the speed. And maybe Maybe we'll change controls. Maybe we'll change. Oh. POP or sounds. We're going to make them. What about get confused or set confused? Because, yeah, get, that's the problem. Get confused, it's interesting as a human, but if you use a get function, it's because you want some value returned. So get confused is not that interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe stun. Do you think stun? Ah, okay. I love. Yeah, okay. I think there's a concept in multiplayer in networking that it's stun. I hope I hope we don't have any problem. The worst part about programming is it commenting. Well, it's part of the naming. You know, it's part of the naming, so Okay. 
Ok, ok. It's cool. Um... We're going to make We can make a variable it's called this eh? with the value with a value. Uh, it's it's not that intuitive. Uh the thing is that what I want to do, it's very simple. Okay. I want to change the direction. Okay, let me check here. Clicking. Okay, here. I want to change. I want to change the direction here. So if we multiply this for this value, it will be difficult to control like more DC the more aggressive change maybe 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 from zero or maybe from one to minus I don't know let me check let me check I, I'm thinking I'm thinking it's some something that I am improvising so we can make this in this way so if we get stunned just that's it <laughs> that's simple okay but I don't like the name of the variable that's my problem but it's okay for now so we are going to do this and if the trunk if this log crashes against us body because it's it's the player uh, a stack that's it. Let's check. We're going to try this. We're going to create a small push. You say applying a force. It's a football. Total punch. Okay, it's not working now. We broke something. Okay, okay. Hmm, something happened. Let's try again. It's a four ball. Ah, now I understand. Thank you for following me. Remember to follow Godot Engine account. Mute not. This is headless server. That's it. That's it. Okay. No. Okay, now it's working. Empieza el partido. No, no. Okay, it works, but. How can we make? Now we are going to maybe apply a force. We can destroy the log. We can destroy the log, not. We can. Oh, so if I didn't remember that I changed the directions and now it's so difficult to control. Uh, it's totally change 
funny. It's funny. It works. So I think it works. So, but what can we do? What can we do now? Okay. So I think this is a cool mechanic. Also, it's a mechanic that we have to somehow make work for all the players. Remember, this project is for me very interesting because it's a multiplayer game and I have to deal with the multiplayer tools and functions from Godot. So now we have to somehow um, synchronize everything with all the players. Let me check something. I'm going to room some instances more. This will be mute. Maybe I will make all of them mute. So you don't have to worry. And it will not be that annoying. This is very cool. I love how Godot manage the instances. The worst thing about creating a multiplayer game is, te is testing and debugging. Testing and debugging is in any engine. It's so hard. Okay, you can see this here. Okay, it's working. It's working, but I think that it works. Oh, I think it works because all of them have the same lag, have the same trunk that it's going in the same direction and whatever. So we have to think about this. It's funny, but it will be difficult. You have like health value for the log and each time it's a bit decreases health a bit. You can add a button, debug connect to the menu, for example, with pred uh, predefined player name and IP to avoid repeating the same things. Every yeah, 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 but the thing is that I have this. I have the IP. Okay, and the thing is that I, in fact, in fact, I had. A default name. The problem is that all of them had the same default name. So, uh, you know, uh, Sakal. So the thing is that it's not a problem to change the name. It's not a problem. The main problem with a multiplayer game is to uh, in fact get information in a way that it's easy to debug from any of them. You have to know which window is which. It's easy, okay? In fact, it could be easy if you put a lot of labels and information on screen and all that, and it's not exactly a problem. The only thing I have that I still do not understand, and I think maybe when I finish this project, I try to help in a way or another on the Godot um, repository with some information that I found that is not documented or it's not at least obvious like this one <laughs> that now I understand what it is this is just the log okay the log, the three logs that appear on the screen, they are not spawned because they are not 
uh, they 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 are not part of the inner um, networking logic. Uh, but it's hard to understand this kind of messages. And what if the logs starts with random direction and keeps bouncing? Each time it bounces faster in the opposite direction. Now I want to make something more more silly, you know. The log falls from the sky, moves a little bit around the 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 stadium, I don't know, and then disappears again. And when it hits a player, reset the velocity to default. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I will add this character here. Let me check. Multiplayer spawner. Auto spawn list, player, and I will add the trunk. Okay, so I have this love here, and now I hope it will spawn. But the thing is that it must spawn on the server and then spawn on the different clients that we have okay so let's see how can we do this let's see let's see hmm okay so i'm going to take this out and the place where it's going to spawn is in this spawn Everything we put here, okay, everything it's in here, it's a spawn in all the clients, okay? So, let me check one thing. Okay, we have this one, this one, this one going to be the one that is going to create this, this. And this. Okay. We start the game. And if you take a look, here are the players. These are the players on the server. And as in the server, we put inside this node all the players these are the ids these are the uh, node ids inside the um inside the tree okay they appear inside the clients so You get uh, um, if the, and what if the logs start? Uh, why use RPC as the protocol? I'm used to use custom TCP protocol. Well, uh, in this case, UDP is better for the game. The thing is that Godot manage Godot has its own protocol for multiplayer. It uses RPC, but also uh it will use um UDP if it's neat. I think it's here. You can uh, 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 where I don't have it. Let me check and let me show you how it works. Um spawner, no the tengo yo ahora 
Okay. Output not. There's a panel that I I not find it now. Let me check. Let me check. Player again. Okay. Synchronizer. Okay. Take a look. Yes. No. No. It's here. Okay. So you have the the spawner that it's the place it's it's the node that will take care for you about spawning any object that you put inside a node okay if you put a player inside inside this okay the spawner will take a look anything i will put this here okay the multiplayer spawner will take a look to this node and if you put here instead of here an a scene of a kind of this okay for example player trunk whatever you want to add here in this list multiplayer spawner will spawn will send to all the clients that node okay so is the server the one the responsible of managing what is happening in all the clients okay so but the thing is that if you look to this since to the for example the the player you have inside of them the multiplier synchronizer every player have some um, uh, every place have some properties that are synchronized between clients godot by default will not synchronize anything because the, the, the engine doesn't know how it works okay uh, how, how the node works as you expect okay so you have to say here in the multiplayer synchronizer which properties you want to synchronize when is the first synchronization for example at spawn i want all these properties being synchronized from the beginning from the spawn moment and then when you want to synchronize all of them always or in change or on change okay so never is just on spawn for example the player name and uh and and the offset of rotation you don't have to repl reply them just one time in the moment of the spawn the player rotation and position this is uh from the um, uh on the previous versions of godot it was very difficult to synchronize position between client and server because it sent back to the player yeah this is the this is the one that it's uh at the moment of spawn it's just at first okay you arrive to this node and then you have this position and rotation and then this is the one that you use to synchronize you don't synchronize directly the properties from the character okay uh, from the um, from the node from the character body okay you don't synchronize uh directly the properties because synchronizing the properties will do in some cases this kind of um overwriting okay if i send to the server my coordinates okay my rotation or position the server maybe maybe not will send not only me but uh, not only my uh, other players but also me will send back my rotation so if i'm rotating and i receive a different rotation the oldest one what happens is that i never rotate okay so the thing is that i sent 
many rotation, okay? To a server. The server receive it, send it to everybody, including me. Okay? And the problem is that if I want to rotate one more time, this rotation that I sent is come back. It will synchronize with my rotation and then it will overwrite everything and I will not rotate. You understand? This is a silly problem, but it happened in older versions of Godot. I know, I know, I started, by the way, I started this game the last year and I did everything you see, almost everything you see, it's done in less than one week with Godot um, beta. I think it was a beta, one of the first beta, and it worked all about uh, network multiplayer worked, worked very well, but this was not well solved, okay? And it still works and it's an elegant solution. What I do is what I receive the, uh, the values and then I decide if I synchronize them or not, and that's it. How do you manage sync position by code? Here. Okay, so uh, this is the ready. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Okay, so I'm always, I'm always sending the sync position and the sync rotation to the uh, to a server. You can decide where you send the messages. If you use this, I I'm not going to. Well, I can explain how it works, but it will take a long time. Okay, one ID one is the server. Okay, server has the ID one. The rest of the players has a very long number, one million, eight hundred, whatever. All of them have big numbers as an ID, but the server always has the ID one. Okay? So I move my player and I do whatever I, I need and then I take the position, the global position, and I also take the rotation. I do not rotate the player by itself. I do not rotate the um, the, the character 3D. I rotate just the 3D model using an offset. So the animations and everything doesn't get um, modified or anything so I have these two values and then I sync them I send it to the uh, to a server and I also by the way send this um, boolean it's an it is not boolean it's just true or false okay it's <laughs> if it's working or not and that's because it gets very easy. It, it When you sync between different clients, if somebody is working or not, if you expect to say, okay, if the position of the player is this one and later is this one, it's moving. It's not that easy. It's not that easy because uh, sometimes the player is moving, but uh you receive two in a row the same position because of networking okay if you have made uh any tool that needs networking you will see or you will uh or you will understand that not always the packages that you send from one client to another um 
arrive in the same order, even arrive right or whatever. So I preferred not to check on the client if the player is moving or not, so I can make the animation. Okay, it's, this is just a silly trick. Okay. Um, I don't check if the player has moved. I just check this Boolean. If my client sense that my player is moving, the other players will receive this variable as true and they will show the player moving, uh, working with the animation of working. He said, do you wait for the confirmation from the server before you update the logical position? Okay, so the thing is that, uh, in fact, not. Okay, I will show you. I was showing you. Okay, this is how it works from the part of the client. Okay, the client sends to a server every frame, sends this. Okay. Well, the thing is that every frame sends its position, but it's on every frame because of this. Okay, because I just said always. I prefer to send the position and the rotation always, even if it's not changed. Okay, because it's better for synchronization. Okay, it's uh, it's our most valuable information. Okay, if it's if there is something that it's not need to be sent, I don't know. For example, uh, imagine that you have uh, control over the head and you want to move the head left or right and it's not important for the rest of the players if that's it sync with precision you don't send that information always you just send it when it change or when you need it or whatever okay you got a bsd or blue screen of the dead doing the, doing the bird you were creating the bird and it explode No. One moment. Okay, so let me check. I did it a year ago. So send player movement. Okay, you send this. Okay. Not working on Godot is lacking a lot of documentation tutorial. It's at yeah, 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 yeah. Um I think it's very cool how Godot manage networking. It's very easy when you get used to it. In fact, it's very fast to add new things. But, well, in fact, I did this with the beta version of God 4.0, you know? So it was crazy at the time because there was no documentation at all because it changed the API and it changed everything so <laughs> it was crazy it was crazy to work with this uh, but the thing is that it was not the first exactly this is not the first game we made on streaming uh, that was multiplayer we made another one that was about ninjas and two factions of ninjas that they fight once against others and it was very 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 funny but it it was broken totally broken and maybe it was more funny because it was broken you know but the thing is that we learn a lot with that project and that project helped us a lot to do this okay
but it's true that uh, it needs more documentation, at least tutorials. But the thing is, as always, this is very, very, very cool. And oh, come on, Hart Rocío, Hart Rocío, thank you for this awesome raid. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody from Rocío's channel. Hello, how are you? I'm doing in this case, and now I started talking about uh, desktop dungeon defenders, but now I'm doing some PC football. I'm talking about networking and how this is hell, but also how cool it is. Thank you, Rocío. Hola, Oli. How are you? Uh, Gracie Waku said, I've been looking at high level multiplayer API in Godot and I found it really difficult to understand the synchronization model. Basically, there's nothing in the docs, maybe something in blocks somewhere. Yeah, in fact, in fact, been working on what heads. Cool, cool, cool. I've been talking more than working here, as always, but now <laughs> more than ever. Um, there was an end. Uh, there was an entry on the Godot blog that. Okay, so I think is this, no, this is not, this is very old. This is very old and this is just about the betas or alphas. And it says to go to the official documentation. But in fact, in fact, crazy. We use this. I think Icterus can remember or somebody that was on the stream at that time will remember that we used this to do to the game that you are looking. You know, so it's old, but I think it will work. At least to understand how it works, maybe, maybe could be interesting for you okay old but gold yeah but also ah and one more thing i'm using godot for free okay so i i well, i don't learn i don't learn i say to all my viewers students and everybody i always say don't use betas. <laughs> Don't use betas. But I'm using not a beta. I'm using a, a development a development release. So whatever it says in the <laughs> in these docs maybe it doesn't suit me. So but but it works. The funny thing is that I'm using code from Godot 4.0 beta and it's working. At least doesn't break anything and it works very, very, very well. So, yeah, Spanglish, but you understand me, yeah? Okay, so uh what are the what what was saying? Yeah, 
Well, I try to go on with my project. Okay, the thing is that the main project needs to synchronize everything. I need to put here. I think to uh, 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 synchronizer. I need a synchronizer here. Multiplayer synchronizer. And I will sync multiplayer synchronizer. What I will sync here. Position. Trunk position, rotation. Yeah. What are we going to synchronize here? Position and rotation. Anything more? And that's it. I think it's cool the way it is. So. Okay. So the thing is, I'm going to spawn inside here. Multiplayer spawner. Okay. Timer. Strong timer. Four. Out the start. And what this time is going to do, finish the bird. Oh, cool. So you can send it to me. You can choose. You, if you wanted to send it to me through, I don't know, any website of this that, you know, uh, we transfer or something like that. Or drive link. Drive link. It's okay. It's not okay. Master Paladin, hard, how are you? How are you, Master Paladin? Driveling is perfect for for now. Okay, so trunk timer, trunk timer will Time out and we'll add trunks in trunk. Okay. And what is going to happen is that if we are server, so it will not be auto start. It's only if we are server. If we are server, Now we are going to uh, not. Trunk sin. Yeah, trunk sin. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Instantiate. Wait a minute, don't worry, it's okay. It's totally okay. So, what we are going to do now, I'm going to add to the spawn truck. 
And that's it. And now I'm going to try this. Okay, we have the server working. Okay. Um, okay. Let's check. Okay. It's working some way or another. Yes. It's totally okay. Oh, it's obviously okay. It's spawned. Infinite trunks. There are infinite trunks. Okay, it's working. Looks good, but what is happening? Why? Loxception. Loxception. It it. Loxception is something that. A developer can suffer more than one time, an exception. And oh, I think I know what is happening. There are locks. There are invisible locks. That's why this is floating. Because is there? What? Go. Okay, it worked. It worked very well. Well, 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 not, but well, also it worked very well in the sense that at first, at first, the first test. Okay, so look, it says character body stage multiplayer synchronizer. Relative to root. Okay, I don't know if this is this is a problem. Strong multiplayer synchronizer always. Why it's not visible? Why it's not visible? I don't have anything. Hey the earth, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. And now you took over the gold channel. Congrats. Oh, well, it's we are doing some collab, some streamers, just to help God. A, a little bit on Twitch. So I'm doing the same as I always do, but here <laughs> on streaming on the Godot channel, I said, how are you? It works well, but. Um, let me check the comments. Not I can't make comments. Not where is the foundation? Okay, donate. Thank you. Thank you, the God Engine official. It's very strange to be in a channel and not being the one 
uh, you know, I'm looking at you. I say, okay, this is not my channel. <laughs> it's yours and you are... It's, it's, very, it's very strange. I'm like, yeah, I have an Emmy. That's that is not mine. It's it's not mine. This this was my community that says that I had to put this command because they want me to be an NFT project by myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. This is my NFT. And that's the um, it's hard to it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. If it's not my channel, okay. So I don't like NFT projects, but it yeah, is an internal joke. And okay, so I think it works very well, but we need to understand why it's not the 3D graphics. Okay, I'm going to put visible. Can, can, Kanikaze, Kanikaze is what is, I had a Marvels game, Marvels, in Spanish, are Canicas, Canicas, and I had one comment for the, um, for that game, that was called Kanikaze, it's just, Silly thing. Okay. So let's check. Okay. It's not spawning. I think it's spawning on the server. Okay, so I will make the server visible. I will make the server. Uh, I will make the server visible. One, two, three, and four screens. One will be the server. One will be the creator and the other two will be just players okay so let's check this is the this is the server And in the server, this is the server, this is the client. Spawns one time, but no more. <laughs> it's very cool what is happening, okay, on the server. And it's kind of spooky <laughs> that it's like a ghost not good ID before reference that there's already a lock there I will check I will check for it No, I don't think I don't think that's the problem. It's building a, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Sonic style. Yeah. But 
I'm going to jump. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's okay. One shot on the timer. No, no, no. It's not one shot on the timer. If not, it's not one shot. It's not even out of start. It's I control everything. What is happening? The pro main problem is that for one reason or another, um, it should spawn everything we put inside this node. Okay, should spawn if I put a trunk. Okay, if I put this log, this trunk here, um, it should spawn in all the clients, but it's not working. It spawns one time, and that's it. Oh, Rafa, don't the bird. Thank you. Thank you. GLB. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you... If... If we use it... If we use it, um, if we use it, you will appear on the credits. So, ah, and everything should be Creative Commons in a way or another. So, I will not only put you on the credits, but also I'm going to uh, on the GitHub. Okay, on the GitHub page, I will try to um, write the license, okay? So you appear and you can share it and... Okay, so BERT. Okay. Ay, qué chiquito que es esto. Ay, qué bonito. Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's very, 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 very good looking. I love it. I do not understand what is happening here, what these symbols mean. But it's okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... I will import it as loop linear import and now it's okay. Ah, as ping pong? Okay. As ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. And it's okay. Oh. Cool. Oh, I love it. Thank you. It works as I want it. So, very, 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 very cool. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so let me check the player. Birds. They are so small. But this is us. You see. Oh. I think 
these are the models that more detail that has more detail you kind of ball not not or verde let's check how it works Ah, no. Excuse me. I get used to have the server. Second plane. Okay. So let's go. Ay, no se oculta. Maybe a little bigger. Maybe a little bigger. That's it. I think two times bigger, it's okay. Yeah, I think it's enough. Two times. I think it's... Are you John Gada? Yes, I am. Hello, how are you? So... I think it will work perfectly. So one more test and that's it. Create server. We need some chirp. We need some bird noises. Okay, so let's see how it works. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. Maybe too many polygons <laughs> for this game, you know, so much detail, but it's okay. It's perfect. So let me know your name or maybe your um So, thank you, Dale, SRT. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been very, very, very funny. I love it. Uh, in fact, a lot of people has only its, uh, its username, you know. So it's cool. Look. I have the crates here. I don't have a button right now. Maybe in two or three days, I will have one more entrance here, you know? So maybe it's Palante or 
go on or whatever in English exit but also credits here but now it's right here ¿Qué tal Promax? ¿Cómo estás? How are you doing? Hello Paybader, it's nice to see you in the official Godot channel part Thank you. So Okay. Let's try to understand what is happening with this game. This PC football game looks really good. Ah, it's funny. It's funny. In fact, the cover it looks better than the game itself. And but the thing is that I would like to change a little bit how the game looks. Um See ya, see you Tales. Uh, see you Tales. Thank you for being around. I would like to change how the game looks because I would prefer to have something more cartoonish. Let me check all the shaders. Let me check all the shaders. Oh! I love this effect. Oh, that's it. Okay. Special resolution. We can try this, no? Okay, so uh, let's try this shader. Let's try this shader. How can we use this? Maybe we can apply the shader to no. We have to apply individually. On every Oh, this is the collision shape. Birds. Body, here. Okay, we have this. And now. We have this, but. I don't know if you are. I mean, you know, with shaders, but. Play your shader, it's okay. Okay, so. In for word, oh, not. I prefer not to use <clears throat> for Word Plus because I want to publish it in all the platform in all the platforms. And again, Android PC, of course, but also all PCs, um, web. But well, 
in fact, it's not neat to be published on websites because multiplayer doesn't work on website. It's 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 a matter of cross origin um, um, restrictions. So you cannot make a game by now multiplayer that works on the web. At least using, at least if we are using, at least if we are using uh, the regular protocol, okay? If we create our own protocol, if we create something using WebSockets or another technology, maybe would work. But even then, Hint normal rockness. Maybe there is maybe there is an alternative for this. Maybe there is an alternative. Okay. <clears throat> Normal rockness texture only supported in the four plus rendering method, not mobile compatibility. Yeah, but is there any alternative? Don't feel like. Similarly, the normal rockness texture can be just uh, okay. I don't know, but in Rognus Studio Okay, so if we cannot use this oh, but it's very important, I cannot oh, man. Okay, let's check another thing. This shader will not work for us, so we are going to check something else. We're going to check something else. Something cartoonish. Oh. Maybe with an outline? Maybe. Okay. Oh my god. So scary is right now. No. This is so scary. What is happening here? One more time environment. If it's not some work. Oh my god. Okay, so. Wow. Uh, instruction in the next pass patchy creepypasta we created a creepypasta yeah this is on the next pass okay it's It's broken. It broke my 
يا اوف اوف next pass here share material load player and oh the preview the preview is very cool the preview it's very 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 cool but it is not applying with the method i think you need previous pass because you want to render a character on the top yeah 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 yeah, so we render and then we render the. So, so you say that it's not the next pass, it's the previews. So we render the old line and then we render the the character by itself. But the thing is that. It says here next pass. Okay. Share parameters. Thank you. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, maybe, no, no, it's not. Now is that patchy. Okay. Uh, it's cool. In fact, the, the, the effect is very, very cool. I love it. I love it a lot. But it's not showing. Here. It's not showing. We have the material here. Next pass. But it's not being applied to the mesh. It's like the render pass. Very cool. I love this effect. Very, very well done. Simple, but it's not working. Maybe it's not working because of Camera, or I don't know. Looks kind of cool. Okay, I I applied it. I applied this to everything. Material. No. 
know the tower. It's so cool, the effect. No, it's not working. So Pixel perfect. Oh. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this one. Okay, this is working. This is working. Okay. Okay. I love it. That's it. I don't know what the other one didn't work, but this is working. Just with one. Okay, the eye. Okay, let me let me do some tricks. Chapella. We have to create new shader material. Load scenes. It's working. Parameters two. Two, two, or maybe four. Four looks cool. I don't know why, but maybe it's a matter of scale. Okay, and then a tartena, pitorrillo, and shed material, okay, four, oh, render priority, it's not my problem. It's looking very cool. It's looking very, very, very cool. Okay, now the nose. Voy a copiarlo. Copy. Quizás el body lo copio. Copia. Copia. Nose. Paste. Okay. For it's okay or not. Now the here. Paste, pants, paste. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's check it. Okay, I need to understand why it's doing this. <clears throat> mm. 
it says something about environment and it's it's like this is null but in fact it's working very strange now there's no problem create server it's okay I will be main player but in fact I don't need anything I can do this oh it's not perfect it's not perfect at all it's funny okay yeah, we have the collisions here visible, but oh, go without any player. Um, visible. It, oh, it looks kind of broken. Mm. It's just strange. It's like it's very, very strange. I love style I hope we can find a good shader for this and it looks cool I try to make you don't like at all I think I think it's cool but it's it's broken the problem is that it's broken totally broken if it could work with I don't know um Make unique, make unique, next pass, paste, the, the problem is that it doesn't work very well, so I think this is I do not understand what is happening from time to time. It feels like it happens if this is not in the screen. Very strange. Oh, the main problem from this shader is that I think it depends from the distance you are rendering, from the distance of the camera, and it gets very, very broken. It's totally broken. By the way, it's very funny. 
it's very funny to to control in a broken way character because when the birds fly around the controls get messed and it's very fine so it works bad come on que lastima what a pity what a pity Let's try one more. Fresnel outline. Fresnel outline. Maybe I feel it's the same algorithm that we are using. Let's try. Best part is that if I change, well, it's not the best part. <laughs> what is happening? Are the base color? Okay. Come on. It's shiny. Yeah, it's a shiny one. Bloody pool. I was watching this bloody pool. I don't think it suits the project, but, but. What is cool snow effect? I would be hours in this page, but we need something now. So, uh, cartoon. Okay. To the liquid. Oh. Ah, inside the sphere. Okay. Flexible toon shatter. Oh, I love this one. Oh my god, this is for Godot 3. And I think. Toon. Toon glass. Water toon. <laughs> I don't want to use this. No, I want to use this. I'm not going to use it now. But I think... I think it could be a great idea to have one... Thank you for following me. To have one character with this hair. Okay, Toon Shader for God 4. Okay. Okay. Enable the, fe the feature. Support the features. Rim light. Pixel art. Smooth pixel art. Alpha. Disable cool. Uh, 
Yeah, but it doesn't feel very special. It doesn't feel very... It doesn't feel very cartoonish, not? Yeah, okay. Tomb Shader. Okay, which uses the light function. Okay, maybe we need a light. No, invalid parameter. Expression X. Oh, it's going cool. It's funny. Now we are going. To, now we are trying to make some good-looking characters. I'm trying to find a tune shader, you know. So this is cool, but it breaks a lot and makes some strange. And this is. Crazy. If I change scene, I don't know if it's something about Godot three, Godot four, three, or you know, but. I need to learn more about shaders. I always wanted to learn. Yeah, the the main problem about shaders is that you have to learn a lot to make the next shader you want to make, you know? So, okay, now you want to make a tune shader and you need old lines. It's not that crazy, okay? Uh, it's in fact on the past I made in fact in streaming I made a old line shader for a 3D model but I need now something different because it's not a 3D model it's just three or four uh, instance mesh instances the ones and also I want not not just an old line okay it's Maybe it's somehow trivial. I want really this cartoonish look. This is very cool, but this is three years old. Obviously, it will be for Godot 3. Maybe this is the issue you are having. Error. Parameter. Environment is null, compatibility render. Open is so last month, and when it's close, when completed three weeks ago. Okay, so obviously I'm using, yeah, it's solved on the next development version. Maybe. Maybe if we try to cheat a little bit, do you think? Oh, no, okay, now it's GitHub. Hmm. It's not um, Tux family. When it was in Tux family, sometimes they were nightly. Where the nightly Godot nightly builds? Emilio.
Mm. Y yo me he cerrado el... Oh, let's check this. Yeah, I know. Warning. Yeah. Oh. Please, official press. Okay. Vale. Official which may be created in the future, but ah. There were. There were daily bits before. I'm not going to download the code and compile everything just to try to avoid that bug. Okay. All workflows, blah, 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 blah. All Linux. Hello, are you a core developer of God? Not. I'm just a regular user. I've been using Godot for several years now. I make streams not only using Godot, but also teaching, teaching Godot, or at least what I know about Godot, because I'm learning every day. Uh, but every time I'm using Godot, I learn something new and funny. Are you using compatibility instead of Forward Plus for specific reasons? Yes. I always use compatibility because I want my games to be played at in any computer, even even my the, even the game I'm going to publish on Steam, um, is going to be in compatibility mode. So, in fact, it's something that I I'm used to you. I, I prefer compatibility mode because. Um, I have very old computers. In fact, the most powerful computer I have is this one. But the rest of my computers are very old and I prefer to work on old computers because everything I do, I know if that if my projects were there, we work everywhere and the most uh, people will enjoy my projects. What do you need? Pi? I love your username, Pi. Don't use betas. Also, Rafa, mmm, nightly. Yeah. Yep. What? Oh. Linux editor mono. Pero dónde está Linux editor sin mono? Well, I can download this one.
Don't judge me. Let's try this. It's funny. It's funny. Maybe this is the last. Maybe everything will explode right now. So see you. Okay. Linux. What? Linux BSD. Okay. It's not exploding. It's also not working. Maybe because I need. Okay. Let's check what is happening here. Y me voy a cargar el último. Oh, this is magic. I have a message here. It's totally magic. Okay, it's supposed to have. Oh, cool. It was on the background. Unable to run. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, que me, que it says that I need to install now .NET Core if I want to uh, just use the mono version, but I don't have time now to, to, to install anything. So, well, okay. Happy ending for this. I know it will be somehow uh, solved for the next version. It's okay. I wanted to check myself if it worked, but it's okay. It was crazy how many errors this this show, but it's okay. It's working. Apt get install install ms.net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's that easy or it is. Not, but it's the last version. It's .NET 8. Okay, so... Mi gozo en un pozo, that we say in Spanish. Okay, for one side, I love the looks. Here, I think it's perfect, or almost. I love how it looks, but it gets broken. Look. Look here, and here. Let's see. El bicho pilao, kind of French. What do you mean? Where are you from? Because this is not French.
Okay. So. There's no cool tune shader for now. At least know that it works for us or easily. Maybe we didn't check this one. Neither this one. The rest is uh, okay. Too old. There is no uh, ah okay here. Let's oh. cell shading. This. Okay. So attention, this shader uses multiple files. Copying this file alone won't work. See for all the files. Let's check. It looks kinda cool. Okay, so instructions. You need to put everything on the SRC folder on your project. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this. First of all, we are going to create here this folder, but also project settings, global shaders, project. Settings, global, okay, and now I have to I can add all of this at once? No, I don't think so. Uh, Sampler to the diffuse. How I put this? Maybe this. No, it's not working like this. The diffuse curve texture must be ah okay. Wow. It's more complex than I expected. Okay. Uh, 
it's it's the best looking log. Let's check it. How it looks. Oh, too small. It looks better on the preview with a bigger size. That's the problem with the uh, outlines. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to kill this shadow. Fuera de todos. Oh no. So I have to do this. Let's destroy the second pass. And that's it. That's a pity, but I prefer not to have broken shaders than not being perfect on the looks. Maybe we can improve, you know, we can improve more the uh, environment, illumination and everything. Great, great chapter naming. Yeah, el bicho pelado. I, I don't know if it's a cultural shock many times, but um, okay, let's go with this prank and why it doesn't synchronize. At all, it appears there, but it doesn't work on the player. So we're going to check what's happening. Okay, I'm going to create the server. I'm going to create a master player. I'm going to start. Okay, remote spawn and okay locks okay trunk Come on, this is the server, and it's a spawn in the trunks, but they are not. Maybe. One moment, I think. Stage. Global Star Server. That's it. Hi, teacher. How about you? How are you? Hi. Can you tell me 
what polymorphism is? <laughs> In English, doesn't work the same way. In English, polymorphism is property that has. I will tell you another day. Okay. So. It's an internal joke. You will understand. Okay, so it spawns one time. Maybe, maybe maybe you need a strong counter. Trunk. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's it. Change the name. Somebody told me before. And every time. Hello, how are you? Oh, hey, King Julian. Okay. Maybe this is the solution. Maybe we need something to synchronize server and the players. Okay. So let's check. That was it. Okay. The name. The main problem with it was that all the trunks were called the same. And if you want to synchronize all of them, it broke everything. So... What can we do now? What can we do now? Yeah, randomly. I'm leaving now. I have now the meeting. Oh. For the new laws, yeah, 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 yeah. So good luck, good luck. I hope it works well. Oh, I forgot the bird shader. Okay, it's working, and now we are going to do something that um, what can we do? Okay, trunk, come here, speed synchronizer. Okay, if, not if, stage, if globals,
you should call the same in fact it should work it should work better Can we create it at at a timer or an area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is that um, I'm thinking on how we can spawn it in a I don't know, or funny way or practical way. Um, Okay, okay, it's working, it's working, and it's working. Okay, the only one that it's moving now. Uh, no, it's the server. Make it fall from the sky, bounce three times, three times. And fly back and disappear. Hmm. It could be a good solution for the, um, you know, what happens if, well, it could have a timer, it could disappear. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to put. Here, well, I will add Marker, 3D. Okay, I will add three markers or six or whatever. So one will be here. Well, in fact, one will be here. More or less, it's not need to be perfect. Twenty. Duplicate. Transform. Twenty. Duplicate. This way, and then this two here. 20. So we have this in this way. And what we are going to do is just choose one of these randomly. Every, I don't know, every eight seconds or also randomly. A trunk. By now, it will be not that randomly. It will be every four seconds. So, first of all, what we are going to do is to create some direction, some dir. Variable, it's X, it's moving on the X, Y on the X. So, okay. If This also will be randomly. Uh, 
Um, Just changing one or minus one, it's okay. Okay, 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 okay. This, 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 and also the animation. Okay, so I think. Oh, better toggle there there and if there it's uh, zero and we're going to do this animation player play Rotate, but backwards. And let's see. Else, if we want to change, I don't know, for any reason, because I don't know. We collide with anything or whatever and change on double directions. So, like this, okay? So, we have this toggle direction. We are going to stage and a child trunk uh, toggle. Um, over there. Oops. Color direction. Okay. Random, random, random. Random. That is fifty percent. Okay, and now we add child, we get randomly from trunk positions, we get children, pick random from this, from all of this, we get all the children notes. We get an array with the children nodes and then from this array we pick one randomly and we pick the roll position and then we do this um trunk global position boss let's check it's raining locks hallelujah it's raining locks no no they are not raining because they are not raining because they are not higher than the floor so now it's raining logs we create the server, we create this, and let's see what is happening. Okay, why 
what has happened? Okay, it's cool. It's funny. Uh, I think I understand. Okay. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. It's cool. It's somehow a challenge. Yeah. Maybe it should be bigger. And maybe we need more spawn markers but it's it's funny it's funny but the thing is that the bowl just disappears and i think it's because oh we put the first time a lock appears. We put the lock here. The main problem we have, but it's not a, it's not a problem because it's a, we don't need we don't need it to be global position. We don't need. Thank you. For the follow we don't need to have any global position because uh i think they are on the same place hello 23 ema Okay. So, yeah. Goal. It's going to. Okay. Okay. It's it's cool. It works. Okay. Okay. So first of all, I want to make bigger, make the trunks bigger. So. It's going to be like this. I'm going to make bigger this. It's not only a matter of scale, it's a matter of um, two. I prefer to make this way. Not the scaling everything. I think it's okay now. How are you? 23? ¿Qué tal 23, Emma? Okay. So, one more, one more. Okay. We're going to make these trunks to disappear in two ways. First of all, with a timer. Timer. I think uh, the average average life of a strong of this should be, I know, for example, 16 seconds, 20 seconds. And the one it's, that is responsible for the trunks is the server. 
else oh Spire popsicle heart how are you i am rafa laguna i am now the the takeover streamer on the godot engine account twitch account how are you what you were doing hello everyone Um, you can ask whatever you want. Doing good. Some morning off stuff. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Where are you from? Because now for me it's not morning, it's half past six. Oh, thank you, everybody. I'm trying to make. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's check this. Let's see how it works. I'm now I'm creating, I'm doing a game, a soccer game, a football game for people that doesn't like football games. So nice to meet you. I'm in California. Oh, morning. Morning, morning. Okay. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. Maybe this is not on the right direction. Okay. They are getting destroyed. Okay, okay, okay. It works. It works. 20 seconds and they get destroyed. Hey, artisan, how are you? Wasn't doing anything game there related, but I have my own VTuber software. I met with Godot, so I'm occasionally popping up here. Very cool, very cool. Lovely, I will check. Okay, so first of all, this it's not rotating in the right direction. This is, but it's not. So, okay, this works. Okay, okay. So. Moonwalk trunk, yeah. Maybe it's too much, 20 seconds. Or the average trunk. I'm going to now add some um, I'm going to add some trunk uh, limits well in fact it's going to be area 3d and this is going to have collision shapes
Okay. This and also don't worry, see you. Thanks for the raid. Thanks. Okay, so we have this here. Okay, more or less here, I think. And this more or less here. And this will only collide with the trunks. Trunks are uh come on. He will rev rev revive the kick about. See? I believe in you, of course. If you want me to remake that league, it's it's easy. I'm going to change this. Uh, no, let's not say it. Tengo al tronquito y el tronquito. Okay, so if any trunk touches this 3D area, okay, if we have this here, trunk limits, okay. Uh, body, body entered. Body entered. body q3 and that's it but only one server only if we are server if not return k and that's it. Let's check how it works. Create server. Okay. Tiene que salir en medio. Bueno. I have to make something. Okay, this is this is the one. This is the one. ¿Ha desaparecido por tocar esto? Okay, no, there are one. Let's check what happens. Okay, it disappears. Perfect. Now it's working. Now we have cool mechanic. Okay. What happens if a trunk, if a log of this touch you? What happened this? Okay. Now the controls are totally broken. Okay. Up is down, left is right, and everything gets a little bit messy. So. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's, it's funny, it's funny. Obviously, it will not be like this. It will not be a storm of flags. A player, birds.
Um, Bits with what to rotation timer start. Uh, Bert's timer. I'm going to, to connect with this Bert's. Visible. Oops. Pulse and also um this eh? false uh, no what because this is maybe I will I will call this I want to replace this eh? with this eh? direction and that's it Okay, so that's it. Ten seconds. Earth's timer. Okay. That's it. Create server and now <clears throat> Okay. Okay, now it's difficult to control. And now what's... <laughs> I think it's very cool. It's a very cool mechanic. I'm going to try to solve this. But now it's this here it works perfectly, but this is not. This is making the moonwalker. So I'm going to try to solve that. And yeah, because strong change total deer. Uh, okay, so if I total deer. I have to play backwards, but only. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Okay, if we don't toggle directions, if this is just pass, everything will move to the left and will rotate. Hmm. Okay, this is moving on the right direction. Okay, this is rotating right. So, 
if I toggle there, this, this is one, this is is one play backwards not maybe because it's auto okay okay I will disable auto play and what I'm going to do now it's strong timer okay um uh okay so we do this just to go okay rotate let's check I think I think it will work. Yeah. This is rotating in the right way. This too. Perfect. We have it. Well, there are <laughs> things like that, but it's okay. So, so, one more change and I will make a build, I will upload it and you can try yourself. Well, two changes in fact, as a matter of fact. First change, I'm going to add more spawn positions for the trunks so it has some variety I am going to duplicate this or not not exactly I'm not going to duplicate this I'm going to duplicate this one I'm going to move here so we have all of this I think it worked I'm going to okay I'm going to duplicate this this two and move it here and now we have all of this and I think that's it this is the first change and now another one I'm going to change the way trunks are created <clears throat> mm 
Okay, this will be... First of all, what I'm going to do is to change randomly. Okay, maybe the first trunk. It's okay. Appears at 24 seconds from the beginning of the match. And then here the The wait time it will change it, it will be somewhere between run the range between 12 seconds and I know 48 In this way, it will be somehow a little bit different. Maybe also we can do this. Um, okay, let's check how it works. Okay, now we wait. Hi, Commodore 252. Okay, it just worked. Okay. Okay, so we need some sound for the trunk. We can make some or whatever. But first of all, we're going to check it with some sound. Empieza el partido. Ahí va la hostia. Gol, gol, gol. Is there any trunk? Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's not rotating. Do you think it rotates only on the server? Have you been have you seen all this time that it only rotates on the server? I th think I've seen
the strong has is the floor. Ya. Yeah. Juego bonito. Ese turbo. Total facilitación. Ok. A la van con el balón en los pies y ninguno lo podrá detener. El estadio vibra con la emoción de ver jugar a los dos. Let me check. And what's. What it... Ok. Ok. Yeah. The best player. <laughs> Ay. Gol, 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 gol. Gol. <laughs> The best player. <laughs> okay, why it's not. I know why it's not rotating. I know. Because of this, because the trunk do not rotate. Trunk, it's not what is rotating here. It's the boot that rotates. And now it should work. It could be funny if we put. It could be funny if we put a name to the trunk. Because as they are the best players. How is it going? Very funny. Very funny. Uh, at least we just discovered several things. We tried. We tried to. I said to. Everybody, please do not use betas or development versions or whatever. And the first thing I do is to <laughs> go to search some some uh, nightly build on the God servers. But everything is working and I think it's been interesting. Okay. Now it's rotating. It's rotating. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. Now I have to figure why this is happening. Nightly? Yeah. Blast from the past. <laughs> why? We have to figure this. It's um, Badel, it's it's in um, lower case. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not an F NFT project. Okay, so it works. It works. It totally works. Um, I'm going to make some builds. <laughs> Doing my job. This is deep lore for my channel. 
Okay, don't judge God at anything, please. It's deep lore. No chance. Uh, so. I don't know if upload this to each, maybe, maybe tomorrow we can, or tomorrow, past tomorrow, I don't know, we can play a little bit all together, but I'm going to make some builds, okay, I'm going to By the way, it's very cool to play this game on Android. I think it's a very cool way to to play it because you can create your own server. Oh, I think I'm I've been Okay. So, this is today, and today is 21 days. Okay. Um. So maybe I'm going to I'm going to write down some instructions so you can use the game, create your own servers and everything. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, play now with you. If, if it's <laughs> it's been a long stream, and I prefer not to have here. I don't know. Also, Nat has to rest a little bit. So, Matt, whenever you want, if you want to write another channel, for me it's okay. But, but it's not an excuse. It's it's because I <laughs> I need to rest and. I'm here as long as you need, and you need me. I need you every day. Please come to my streams and be with me. But that's not the thing. We have to rest. It's been a long day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, where, where we are going? Where we are going? Let's see. Do you have? Do you have an end channel we should rate? Uh, obviously, Jackie. We can go with Jackie. We can go with Jackie. Jackie. It's, uh... Jackie's ending. No. So, Jackie, no. Jackie is ending. Jackie's ending. Jackie is ending. Let me check. Let me check if there is some English... Arimos, I don't know who is this Arimos. Okay, so let me check. Oh, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. 
He's using Godot now. So let's go. Right. Have have a little like cool. Um, texture behind it and then a, a texture somewhere. Oh, else. it's going to stream here on Friday, so That'll Okay, be could be a mouse or I mean, I love that line. I am Confucian. And then the girl just is tapping the screen. Oh, man, I, lo I love that. Maybe. I love any of you know what that Source is. of the story? Hopefully you do. Whatever you want. <laughs> that looks like code. Yeah. And I love that. C sharp. C sharp and Godot. It's cool, obviously. <sighs> so let's go with with sources story. Thank you, Hamon. I get the feeling that maybe Thank you. Thank you at all. Thank you you all. It's been a pleasure to be here with all of you on the Godot Engine official channel. Heart Heart Nat Hat Rocio Heart Amon Hard Icterus, Hard Juan de Hard everybody. What if See something you. new happens uh, in the future? What if I add more options? Because I could easily do that. See you people. Oh my goodness. What? I love this. Um th thank you, Godot Engine Official, for, for rating us. Bye.